Hey all, I forgot to say this in the main part of the episode, but this is the start of a very special series and celebration of not only Live Laugh Stuck's five-year anniversary as of today, December 12th, 2023, but also its 100th episode. Sort of. Give or take. Listen, episode science isn't exact, but just go with it. That is to say, this is extremely exciting. I wouldn't have gotten here if it wasn't for your support, even during the almost three years of no new episodes and none in sight. I especially want to thank Danny the Spoon Lord, who supported me on Patreon, moved with me to Ko-Fi, and has been here for whatever I throw at the wall. Also, of course, to my various guests and co-hosts who have helped elevate this podcast to a new level. But truly, even if you just listen, even if you just hopped on this year and only listen to episodes that pique your interest rather than binging everything, I appreciate you, and every listen helps me keep this podcast going. Here's to another five years and 100 episodes. I wonder what that future holds. Maybe Moostuck will have finished Act 6 and gotten started on the epilogues. Maybe I've started Reedstuck again and gotten to Act 5. Maybe I've developed a bloodhound's nose for hunting down old and new fan projects whose creators are willing to be interviewed. Or maybe I've started a series I can't even fathom yet. I can't wait to find out. Hello, and welcome to Live, Laugh, Stuck. I am Jackie, aka Jax. My pronouns are they, them. This is a very special episode we are recording. I don't know why I gave it a spooky tone at the end there. Um, I am here with Justin and Dami. You guys can say hi. 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 Uh, And... And we're we're gonna we're gonna talk about some some ship names. Uh, we had a lot of fun in the episode Justin was in about Cascade, the end of Act Five, discussing ship names. And so we're just gonna do uh, all of them. Justin, do you want to go through the the rules? I guess what what ship names got excluded? Yeah, yeah. So. Um... Jax went out and found this like huge list and then also took some suggestions from Tumblr and we made this like giant document of of several hundred different ship names. And then for purposes of this, we uh I went through and I pared it down and really the only things I axed and took out were ship names that could apply that that were in multiple spots on this document for multiple different pairings. So like Strider Cest or Lesbifins or or Cotton Candy, things like that were were axed. And we are left with four hundred and ten ship ship names for for every conceivable pairing uh to get yeah, through. Also um stuff like Arafef, stuff that's just uh the the c- combination of their names. Is that a portmanteau? Is that what it's, this is? That's called? a portmanteau, yeah. Portmanteau. Portmanteau. Whatever. Um, portmanteau, the sequel to Portmanteau. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, those those were axed as well. I do have all of the names on a spreadsheet still. Like, I had a separate one from the one that Justin messed with that I want to put somewhere because I, I think people still want ship names uh, and ship name lists haven't been a thing in, like, a long time it'll be so that's still out there it'll be huh? in the show notes we'll put it up on google drive or something i don't know excellent yeah that's what i'm saying is i don't know if i want to leave it in a sheet or if i want to try to stick it somewhere else um or what but I, maybe i'll figure out what to do by then and put it in the show notes hopefully you know what i'll probably just make a sheet hey i'm gonna yeah? i'm gonna make a decision for you on your show 
Cool. We're going to put it in the Discord. Come join the uh, Live Laugh Stuck Discord. Yeah. Also, Ooh, hopefully, in the like... show notes. Oh, yeah, that's always in the show notes. It's got, like, <laughs> people talking in it yeah. and stuff. There was a while where people didn't really talk in it, except for me saying, Hi, I'm on Twitch. Hi, uh, hi I'm on Twitch again. <laughs> hey. Um, I mean, I'm not doing anything homestuck. I'm I'm playing Slay the Princess, but uh, I, I'm on, I'm on Twitch again. But now people are like talking. Yeah, there's like actual conversation. It's a good server. You should join it. We anyway, have. I'm glad we had that discussion things, on such as on recording conversation. That out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so there's also a video. This is an episode for your ears, but there's also a video because Justin went through like a lot of effort to make graphics for all of these ships. They're bad. The graphics? These graphics are very bad. I don't know. It's it's this first one I'm looking at is pretty good. Yeah, I've got one in front of my face right now, and it seems like fine. It seems good. It's 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 workable. Sure. Wait. If you're watching the YouTube video, you're looking at this and you're like, I don't know, that seems like a sandwich I'd like to be the jelly of, you know what I mean? Sure, sure. Uh, it, <laughs> it, it might look fine. Uh, just remember, there are 409 more of the exact same thing. That's true. That's, fair. That's true. But we'll see. I mean, I guess starting off with these two, they're like some of the best renditions, like just the hottest in uh, Homestuck. Um, oh. Not these two specifically, but we'll get to it. We should also say how we're ranking them. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. That would be good. This isn't This isn't like, oh, what do we think of this ship? Like, does it does it make narrative sense? No, none of that. Oh, it's just the name. It's, it's just the name. How well does the, like, how good is the name and how well does the name fit the ship? Yeah. Uh, so if you, if we like just down rank all the, the ship names, that's nothing about the ship. It might be about the ship, but it's mostly just about the name. Yeah. Uh, okay. So yeah, we can d- go ahead, start, begin. Go, go ahead, start, begin. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, start, start begin. begin. <laughs> Look, okay. I've done so much work today already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Justin's done a lot, and I've just sat here here and uh, reaped the benefits. I mean, I did compile the list, but I mostly just copied and pasted what other people put online. So <laughs> I was just that invited was... to show up. Yeah. So I've got tea, and I showed up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so we're starting off. The first one is the summoner, and. Oh my god, the Grand High Blood. The Grand like, what High the Blood. fuck is his name? Uh, anyway, the ancestors are the hottest. They're just the hottest renditions of any characters in Homestuck. Um, minus like the Black Queen. So it's a good start for me personally. Anyway, their name is Sassy Addiction. Which I don't quite yeah, understand. I'm not so sure their name is that. <laughs> I really? Mean- I don't listen. I, don't I just get it. copied and pasted from lists that other people put on the internet. I did not make these up. No, that's of fine. Course, of course. I'm not. I'm not blaming you. I'm blaming you, random person not listening to this that put this <laughs> name out there onto the world. Uh, yeah, like from seven years ago. Yeah. Uh, I'm look. I I'm gonna I'm gonna stick this in D tier automatically. Like, oh, I I mean, I think. Mm-hmm. I big agree. This is this is this is like the example of D tier. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like only only vaguely related to each character as presented in comic, and yeah. then the the name makes very little sense as a combination of their traits. Yeah. yeah. It's one where I go, did I copy and paste this wrong? But I like triple checked what I did. That's how bad it is. So I'll I'll agree with with D. It's more confusing than outright terrible that that an F would be. But it's 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 not great. Or are we going all the way down to F? I guess we should have explained that too. <laughs> what's our yeah? Why did we go down to F? 
We never sure, established we... our ranking system. I just assumed everyone uses like S through F. I mean, okay, we can do that. We can use through F. I was okay. I was expecting S through D, but why do people do that? Yeah, some people. Do, I only yeah. watch someone's food rating videos. I've I've watched a grand total of like two tier list making videos, so I feel like I have some manner of expertise. Really? I think yeah. I think S through D arose as a consequence of like fighting games being the actual thing that tier lists are from, and in that culture, generally F is reserved for like unplayably bad characters. Mm, okay. So there could be a game with no F tier characters, right? Yeah. Okay. I guess. Anyway, yeah. I just watch someone rate Kit Kats. So that's my experience. <laughs> Does he ever rate anything lower than a C? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It's been Yes, a, he does. It's been a minute since I've seen any of his stuff. Yeah, especially if you get into chocolates. He fucking hates chocolate. He's not a fan of chocolate, and the more chocolatey chocolate something is, the lower he rates it. That's his own fault for doing Kit Kats, then. There's plenty of non-chocolate Kit Kats. Do you not know? Do you not know of Japanese Kit Kat culture? I mean, it's still like a chocolate coating, right? I mean, flavor, it is white chocolate, which isn't chocolate. It's not. It's palm Maybe. oil. Yeah. It's not like chocolatey. Sassy Addiction gets an F I from me. I can show you the word. Oh, it gets an F? <laughs> yeah. I, I, okay. I still say D. Yeah. All right. Consensus is a D. Cool. Next one is literally the exact same pairing. Can you have this randomized? I hold on. It's fine. It is it is. It is randomized. This is a coincidence. So Grand Summoning is better. It is better. It's the same people we just did for for clarity. Yeah. Uh Summoner and Grand High Blood. Grand Summoning. It is Grand High Blood and Summoner, so like it does actually fuse the two names, but it still doesn't. Who says mean Grand Summoning? Anything? Yeah. This is my yeah. Grand Summoning. I ship Grand Summoning. I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I feel like it is around on the same level as your traditional portmanteau name, right? Yeah. Yeah. This it's like you just got away with it because they're nouns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I think something that's going to come up is that you might be lower on the portmanteau thing than than I am. Like I think it's fine once well, in a I mean, while. Portmanteaus are f like I have no problem with portmanteaus. It's just it's hard to rate ship names like Arafeth. Well, that is Erden and Fafari together. That's fair. Um it's not really yeah. like a creative enterprise. Yeah, because, like, we'll get into them. We'll get into some, like, truly good S-tier names. Some of these are just fucking gorgeous. Yeah, um, I can't wait. Yeah. But, uh, so, what do you what do you rate Grand Summoning? C. Like, it, it's, C. it's passing. It's fine. Yeah, yeah same. You, you met All the right. base requirements. Next up. More ancestor shit. Hot. Um, Red Sea, which is uh, the signless and the Grand High Blood. Oh, this is this is a good name on the wrong characters. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, the High Blood doesn't really have much to do with the sea. Did I listen? I'm starting to like get paranoid that I copy pasted some <laughs> stuff wrong. Like. Red Red Sea should be uh signless and uh Dual Scar. Oh my god, what was Dual yeah, Scar, and Dual or, Scar. Uh, Orphan or Dual Scar. Or the Condos. I would accept yeah. both. Yeah. Not... I think Dual Scar more though. Because yeah. like that's that's piratey specifically. Yeah. Right? For the sure. Condos has other shit going on. I don't know. It also Red Sea just kind of sounds like um, a euphemism for your period. <laughs> <laughs> that's 
that was my first thought i'll be honest so yeah so again uh this one is not good yeah i i think it's d tier yeah yeah same. it hurts to give a good name d tier but it right. is on the wrong people yeah it is and this is a this is a hundred no, that's not a hundred percent this is 50 percent on the wrong people yeah it's like almost there and that's why it's a d right yeah the correct person would jump this up to like a I mean. yeah yeah i might still have to rank it a b if it was the correct people just because i keep thinking about periods Fair. <laughs> that's and fair, that's not yeah. my kink so if it was it'd probably be an s but uh yeah sure red c gets a d tier yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay uh this one is uh the summoner and the grand high blood again and it's horny horny old men <laughs> Yeah, okay. which is <laughs> this could funny. have been like any of the an uh, the 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 guy ancestors together, but these are the two the like, biggest the biggest the, big, horns. the biggest ho biggest horns yeah 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 yeah, yeah oh, that's a pretty clown. good that's pretty this good is pre this is pretty good I'm I'm like waffling between like I think I think this is between like low A and high B. Yeah, oh, I I'm definitely on A for this one. I mean, it made me laugh at the moment I saw it, so. Yeah. It took my poor, slow brain a moment to unpack the layers here, but, like, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely an A. Okay. Yeah. All right. Horny old men is an A tier. Yeah. Okay. Uh, mm. I do like this one. It's all the yeah. uh, alpha and beta, 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 alpha and beta kids together, and it's alpha beta soup. Yeah, um, I I do I do like this one. This is very good. Yeah, it's this very one's cute. sick. This one's yeah. been yeah. around for a while. It hits. I'm gonna show some bias towards the one of these, towards the the ones of these that I recognize from like the pre 2019 fandom. And this one's been around a while, and it's real good. It was real good back in the day. It's good now. John yep. and Jake just look so much. I forget how so similar. They look yeah, and tear their and they're the same fucking. <laughs> it's literally the same dude with a different haircut. <laughs> yeah, and just a slightly yeah, different haircut, the slightest <laughs> difference, and a different yeah. green thing on this shirt. Terrible character design, hussy. Um, <laughs> but but I mean, if we're being honest, the Lalans are also the same girl with a slightly different haircut. But the haircut's so much different. Like Rose has a has a headband and Roxy has little curls and, and the, the hair sticking out on the side. Like you could draw John's hair kind of wrong and it's Jake now. Yeah. That's fair. If you if you forget the like big poof up top, it's it's just Jake. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Um that's not the point of what this is. It's just I saw them and I'm like they're too alike. Too much. Yeah. Anyway, I think Alpha Beta Soup is high A tier, maybe even nudging up to S. I I also agree. I'm I'm on that that lip of like, does this tip over into S? I I think it's S because it also reminds me of um, the like uh, Alphabet Soup is what some people call like uh LGBTQ, you know the the community because there's so many goddamn Ooh. letters. Yeah, yeah. Um, and these yeah. are just a bunch of uh, queer kids in a pile together. It does so. <laughs> take on an additional great layer with the, the sudden queering of Homestuck. Yeah. Yeah. I'm into yeah. it. Okay, yeah. That, yeah. That'll that tip it to S. All right. That's enough. We got Alpha Beta Soup as an S tier then. Yeah. Uh, next up, more ancestor <laughs> shit. Okay, we got the, the, the Summoner and uh, Orphaner Dual Scar. I love his name was just Dual Scar. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, and it's Flying Fish. Do you think his name was Dual Scar before he got the Dual Scars? Or maybe they had to, like, as he reached maturity, they're like, listen, man. <laughs> it's your name. We gotta. Uh, no, I assume it's a title that they get. 
It's um, it's a title yeah. that uh, Marquis Spinner at Mindfang gave to him. She named all of the uh, the ancestors with their little eight letter eight letter words. Did she? Yes. I don't. Where is that said? I mean, it's, it's just it's just that's where the names come from. Is her journals? I guess. Yeah. Every every name comes from comes from the journal that Riska found. I didn't put together that they were all eight letters. Yeah, yeah, that's why uh, the psionic is spelled with that little Greek letter, is so that it'll fit into eight letters. That's so mm, funny. Hussie, okay. you dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Hussy didn't do it, Mindfang did it. Mindfang, you dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I'd say about uh, either of them, but uh, it's Flying fine. fish. We've spent more time discussing Dual Scar's name than the ship name in front of us. And I think that's funny. Yeah. And also a little indicative of, of, of how well this name lands once the initial joke passes. Yeah, it's not great. Yeah. It's not it's not good at all. I'll give it a C for the joke being good, but once the joke passes, it can't it can't rise above, you know? Yeah. I feel like I'm missing the joke. This is the flying fish. This is the dudes flying, and there's fish, and the other dudes are fish. Yeah, you know, like flying fish are a thing, and... Flying fish are... Okay, so it's not actually a joke. It's just two words slapped together that make a different thing. I guess that's true. You made yeah. a good point. Joke is generous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I was like... There's got there's got to be like they keep saying joke. There's got to be another layer in this that I'm just not seeing. No. I think what I mean when I say joke is just that it's it's like a funny name, kind of a little bit. If you squint, <laughs> <laughs> Don't you can a tell that whoever you can tell that whoever made this was trying to be funny about it. Ah, there yeah, we go. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. That's excellent. Yeah. Uh, I, it's not funny to me. I'm still going to give it a D tier. Fair. Yeah, I'm going to have to go D tier. Understood. All right. Consensus on flying fish is a D. Finally, we get a, an an original kid. An original kid. Uh, we got Gamzee and the Grand High Blood. Uh, and their ship name is Insane Clown Posse. I don't hate this one, but it is complicated by the fact that the Insane Clown Posse are actually also characters that exist within the lore and world of Homestuck. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> like, they exist canonically within Homestuck and are instrumental in the Condes' takeover. Um, they are part of the deep lore of the destruction of Earth. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's It just feels like um, not too on the nose, but it just feels like uh, low hanging fruit. That's fair. A little bit. I I do think. I almost feel it is indicative of what would happen if these two actually met. Yeah. That ship ship in this sense is is just the nature of their relationship, not not necessarily like like a a sexual or a romantic thing. I feel if they met, they would just become the Insane Clown Posse. Yeah. No, I very much agree. Like, this is definitely indicative of something between these two characters, which is why I say that I'm, like, I'm, I'm like, kinda into it, right? Yeah. Yeah. But, again, because of the reasons given before, I don't, I don't think it gets above C. I think it's just passable. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a C. C works. All right consensus on insane clown posse is a c okay um this is the signless and uh the uh the disciple uh, it's just leader and his lover this is just a description of their dynamic that's, that, that's just that's that's literally that's yeah that's literally just the ship and like okay remember these were from i just i, I didn't make these up i didn't like find some random person to describe it these are from like ship name lists like someone listed out all the ship names and included this on here um, you you don't need to defend yourself if i if i if i uh cut this down to only the good ones there's no point in doing a tier list fair enough it's just it's true 
It just feels like it like I mean, there's like bad ship names and then there's like this is their relationship. Just that that yeah. is just the yeah, leader and just his lover. What they are. Might as well have been what Mind Fang described it as in her journal or Arania after the fact. Yeah. Yeah, easy F from me. Yeah. Yep, same. I mean, I would say D because it is at least correct. Where whereas I'm I'm sort of reserving F tier for things that are just flat out like wrong. But I I don't I'm not gonna fight you on it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It, it gets an F tier from me in that situation, but also if it's just not a ship name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is, you're, you're, not letting, you're right. It is just flat out not a ship name. Yeah. Le- leader and his lover gets an F. Oh, uh, so this is... <sighs> um, oh my god. Uh, Red Glare and Dual Scar. Uh, courtship. I like this one a lot. Yeah, I'm into I this do. Ca- one. I do kind of like this one. I like this one. This um, one's pretty good because, like, it's 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 basic, but it hits so many layers of it, like, yeah, yeah. That the you know, it's it's the justice system and pirate. So courtship, but then courtship is the nature of the ship as well. It's good. It's yeah, good. It's pretty good. It's good. it's pretty good. I I I want to I want to put this in A. I want to give this another high A. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think so. I think I agree. Very good A. All right. Yeah. Courtships in A. Courtships in A. Uh, this is the Grand High Blood and the Condes Mother Glovers. I like this one a lot. I like with- this one a lot. Specifically with oh, the yeah. hyphen, so so that the hyphen yeah. E is still the trident. Yeah, for sure, oh, for yeah. sure, for sure. Good to point out. This is um, another one that I actually recognize. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I've seen this one before, but it's pretty good. It's, it's pretty good. fucking good. I d- I do like Mother Glovers. I yeah. I think I'm gonna go an it's... A for this one too. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. It's got. Way. It's got. It's got the fish pun. It's got one of their typing quirks. Yeah, a couple of these have typing quirks that couldn't be represented by the font I chose. Unfortunately, I'll try to point them out when they appear, but I didn't realize until it was too late, and I wasn't gonna go redo the hundred or so that I already did. That's I fair. feel like you're typing these in all caps, which does does potentially. Mm, that's that's like, because like, this font set only has capital letters. This is fair, but like, I don't. I mean, all caps is technically half of of the 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 um the Makara quirk. Yeah, the, <laughs> right. The okay. Here's the thing. Here's what. There's the justification for it that I just made up just now and definitely cool. did not plan into it. Um, because we're talking about ships, these are all written by Carcat. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll take it. Right. Uh what did we say? Mother Glubbers gets an A? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh then we have the summoner and uh Mind Fang. It is Muddy Ship. Uh cause, cause of the the bronze blood color. And pirate. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I can't look at this... muddy as the descriptor for blood and not go mud blood. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, like, muddy ship is that like that's not that's not anything. That's not a, that's no. not a thing. thing. It's like you moored even your ship. It, like, I don't know. Even if even if that was a thing, that's not sexy. Like that's it's not, not sexy. <laughs> it's true. In between the summoner, fucking fucking Rufio Himbo Galore, and Mind Fang, terrible, terrible sexy woman, we have an unsexy ship name? What's the point? Yeah. Yeah, no. This ain't the one. This is this is uh again, this one is just incorrect. This is an F tier for me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I do feel feel strongly about it. I was thinking about D tier, but it's definitely an F tier. Yeah. Muddy Ship gets the F. 
Uh, this is the signless and the disciple again, and it is the first ship. I actually, I kind of like this one. It's to be cute. honest, it's cute. Um, it's it it's 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 almost Christian in in the signless's like Jesus allegory. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, I like this one. I like this one a lot. Yeah. I I like like I'm not I'm not a religious person obviously otherwise I'd probably hate this but I I do I do like that the ship name actually matters to the character arc and not just like some a couple character traits yeah I, I like it I I think yeah. it, I think it works very well I think it's very descriptive in just a few words you yeah. know who this is yeah I think that uh, I think that no, go ahead. while you are I think that while you're right, I also think that there is a layer here of, like, you gotta... I had to sit and think about this one before I got what it meant, you know? I don't know. For some reason, my brain is like, I don't, I, I don't think I could, I don't think I could put this above a B. Is good. Oh, we're ex- we're actually it's very right. different because this is this is the first one that I would put in an S. Oh, or I guess second because Alpha Beta Sue. Uh huh. Uh, I was also kind of thinking of B. Do you want to? All right. Can do you want to meet in the middle compr- and do A? Can we can we compromise and say A? Yeah. We can compromise and say A. Okay, <laughs> Dommy, right. you, sound first- <laughs> <laughs> you sound upset. <laughs> We're not bullying you into this, my God. <laughs> uh, before anybody changes your mind, the first ship gets a name. Moving on. <laughs> uh, this one, uh, this one is um, the Dolorosa and uh, Dual Scar. And its name is Planned Parenthood. (laughs) (laughs) The question that I have... Yeah? Is where is the dual scar in this ship name? (laughs) I don't think it exists. (laughs) I don't know. I guess, like, my thought is, like... Maybe I was going too deep into this, but you know how, like, you know, some people know Planned Parenthood as, like, the abortion place, and then there's something, and then, you know, you just, maybe I'm just thinking too many layers, and, like, how, like, some Orphan people- or dual scar. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I get okay, it. Okay, got, yeah. I've come okay, back no, around. That's... I like this now. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty, that's pretty good. <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm gonna say a B because it took a while for y'all to get it. Yeah. Also, I feel like orphaner is the opposite of Planned Parenthood. I think it's also just like I don't know. There's something about like him killing her that to me plays into it in my head. I don't know. It's yeah. It's it's it's, it's, it's it's got it's a it's a little bit messy, but I can I can see the pieces and how they were supposed to fit together. Yeah. Uh, I I also think this is a B because it's like it's so close to being something like really cohesive and good. Yeah. I think I think this is a C tier name with that becomes an A tier after you think about it, and that averages out <laughs> to make it a B. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> that works. Uh. In in sentences I never thought I would say, Planned Parenthood ranks a B. <laughs> okay, we got uh the summoner and mind fang, and this time it's flying spider. Cause you get it, dual scar and, and the summoner were flying fish, and so now it's flying spider. Yeah, do you get it? Do you, do you get, get it? it everybody? Do you get it? If I lean into my microphone, do you get it? If I start to peek, do you get it? <laughs> Uh, hard F. Yeah, same. Yeah, this is bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Flying spiders. Flying. That the. Flying spiders, both in this uh in this tier list and in real life, get an F. Yeah. (laughs) 
Uh, okay, so <laughs> we're we're away from ancestors for now, and we have Jake English and Roxy Lalonde. Almost said Strider because I've been doing a lot of my dirt cat fic, and she is a Strider in that one. Double pistols and a wonk. I love it. I it's love good. It a lot. This uh, one's I, good. Absolutely perfect. No notes. S. S. Yeah. S. It's great. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Double Pistols in a Wonk consensus is an S. Yeah. Double Pistols in a Wink is from a fan song, right? Not like in the comic. N no. Okay. So it is in that fan song, but it is a thing that ha that Jake does a number of times. It's also a thing that Aradia does a couple of times. Jake and Radia, uh, perfect together, I guess. Double pistols and a wink should be what we're reading right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I am pleased to announce, and perhaps this is spoilers for the rest of the video or videos, depending on how long this goes. Uh, there are several Aradia Jake ship names. I mean, there's Excellent. gotta be. I mean, she's blue. He's Jake. You know. She, she. She's blue. <laughs> she's, she's, she's not blue. Not a radio. Oh my god! I was thinking of Rainia. I was just trading them. I was trading the D and N in my head. Okay, actually, actually, you know what? Fucking god, galaxy brain, take right now. Jake is into a radio, but only when she's a robot, because yeah. that's when she's blue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay yeah all right yeah there we go anyway Aradia and jake's here and it's indiana jones in the kingdom of the green skull uh is this a real indiana jones movie uh I don't kingdom think so. of the There's crystal, the crystal skull. skull okay i don't i haven't i haven't seen it i don't know what any indiana either. jones it's movie is about other Shia than LaBeouf. like the broad stroke wait you haven't seen any indiana jones movie I have not seen any Indiana Jones movie. I, why? Okay, because I've said this. I've said this several times before on my podcast. Live, to me, probably probably live on the on the podcast that if if a media is not made for a target audience of like eight to fifteen, I haven't seen it. <laughs> I feel like Indiana <laughs> Jones could fit in there in the fifteen. It's got Nazis melting. That's what cool. Anyway, uh, this sucks as a name. It's very unwieldy. It is pretty it's unwieldy. A, it's very unwieldy. I don't think it makes a lot of sense. No one cares about the Crystal Skull movie. It's got Shia LaBeouf in it. It's not one of the originals. This is like a mildly funny pun. Yeah. yeah. But it's not a good ship name. It, it takes too long to get to the mildly funny pun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like also, okay, again, spoilers. There's there's a lot of like this. Because Ar Ar okay, no. So Aradia does a lot of the exploring of ruins. So I yeah. get it. She's Indiana Jones. Yeah. She even gets the hat. Yeah, and I so I I, I sort of I sort of get that from like a a a like a a. a a, 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 oh my fucking brain I hate yeah. you today I sort of get this name from a like sexy ship name standpoint because it is Indiana Jones exploring the kingdom of the green skull that is Jake English like I get it uh huh I, I don't I don't think this is wrong I, I want to put this like low C high D almost I was gonna say D here's my thing about this ship thing right okay it's a D tier ship name, but it's an S tier fanfic name. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. This is a fic name, not a ship name. Yes, yes, yes. I okay, I, I will concede that point. Uh okay, I'll I'll change mine to a D. D. Okay, we this, got Kanaya and we got the Dolorosa. Sorry, what were you saying? I was just like, this is very fun. It's bad, but it's very funny, I think. Uh, now neither of us will be virgins. I mean... It's fine. 
I guess. It's fine. Uh, it's, 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 it's a... I, I also feel that it's incorrect, because... I it's like a kind this... of funny name, but critically, critically, and we need to be very aware of this here, because this is a big deal. It's kind of a big deal in the Dolorosa's story. She ain't yeah. a virgin. <laughs> yeah. Did Tommy say something, or did she just stop? She ain't a virgin. Oh, there we go. Uh... It, was, it was implied. I, I don't know if the silence was Discord or real, it but I, I I heard... I heard it through the silence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. No, it is a big thing. It also feels like it would have been a lot funnier in like 2009, 2012, whatever, whenever like uh, a 40 year old virgin and shit came out. Yeah. I feel like yeah. that culture would have found it funnier than me now. This I is think a it's joke. A fu- Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. No, I think this is a funny name that does not attach itself to either end of the ship yeah it's this like is a joke it. that would have landed when homestuck started yeah absolutely <laughs> yes yeah. this, this yeah, was yeah, a yeah. joke made for that time period and no other time period this this name for a ship came out like the instant that Delarosa was revealed i feel like this that's gotta. the only way that this makes sense it's just like I, like there's the implication that they're in cells. I mean, I don't know. It's just a lot. Yeah. I this th- I I am again sticking with my thing. This is incorrect. It gets an F. Yeah, F. Yeah, I'll go with F. Now, now neither of us will be virgins. Get, get gets to F. I don't know. That sounded better in my head. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Uh okay, and we got um the psionic and the signless, and it's just signless, but it's it's signless, but but p s i i. I mean that's just a portmanteau. It is. It's a it's a portmanteau. portmanteau. I feel I feel like it's a good portmanteau because it does actually like flow very well. It's but you can't it's say a it out good loud. Portmanteau. I would have liked it more if it had the psionics obnoxious little Greek W. Uh, it probably did, but again, I'm using a limited fontscape. This is fair. This is a good point. And you probably can't use that on, like, AO3 or whatever. You can make a no, solid wait. argument. You, you probably, probably can, because AO3... AO3. A- you probably could, because AO3, like, explicitly updated their stuff for Homestuck a long time ago. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, they did very explicitly update the way that fix can be written and displayed to accommodate the massive amount of Homestuck fiction that started coming in uh, during its peak. Do you do you have like a link for for that so I can read that? Because that sounds great. I can. I will find it later. It is yeah. something that was just tucked away in the recesses of my mind that I heard. I don't know a decade ago. <laughs> <laughs> If we That's... find evidence of that claim, maybe we'll try to remember to put it in the show notes as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think this just works way better written than it does saying it out loud. Ag- agreed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a very clean portmanteau that doesn't really mean anything. I'll probably put it at a C. I think it's like a B. Yeah, I was going to think B. Okay. I'm I'm not upset with that. Yeah. So, signless, uh, Psyinless gets a B. Yeah. I because I think I would love to see it. I think I would chuckle a little bit if I saw it like on a tag on Tumblr. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay, uh, Justin, you you take over this one because my shit's so. Uh... Oh yeah, this one probably would be hard to read with kind of a fucked up Discord. Yeah. Uh, this. This is, uh, I blanked on her name for a second. This is Doc Scratch and the Handmaiden as Omnipotent Trickster. I don't get it. I, she's not. It's j- uh huh. It's just Doc Scratch. There's no description of the Handmaid here. Yeah, she's not really a. I mean, trickster. She's not. She's not a trickster. She is, in fact, very blunt with her with her like aggression. Yeah. 
There is nothing. There is nothing trickster about her. She like slams a chair over his head. Yeah. Which I guess, if okay, if I'm remembering right, when she's doing that, isn't isn't Doc Scratch basically like, oh, you silly thing, we're gonna put you in timeout now, yep. like. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. She's critically so I guess, not I guess, omnipotent either. But like if she were doing right. huh? I so I, the way that I read this, if I'm if I'm trying to make sense of it, it's ri- the the ship name is from Scratch's perspective where he is the omnipotent and she is the trickster because her aggression means so very little to him that he thinks of it as childish tricks. I That's just the think, only way that I can rationalize this. Yeah, it's just trickster implies more uh, Home Alone esque. Like you know, if we're yeah. gonna go trickster aggression, I think Home Alone. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not slamming a chair over your head. Yeah, that, it's it's bad. It's, it's bad. bad. It's uh, the, bad. The, on, the only way I can think to justify it is like by twisting so much. And, like, giving a lot of faith where it probably shouldn't be. Yeah. It would be... I Okay. I feel like, personally, it would be slightly better if the ship name was Omnipotent Tricksters. Because then it at least posits, like... Oh, we lost you. Oh, oh no. Cut out again. There you go. We're good? Yeah. Trick, okay, so Omnipotent Tricksters... Yes, because at least then it posits like a a a conceptual dynamic for how like somebody outside might view them as as a as a ship, right? Because because the thing is, but, Doc Scratch is an omnipotent trickster. He is a trickster. Like yeah, he is. Yeah, but I I I, I like. I feel like even with the S, it still doesn't escape the dregs of F tier. Yeah. yeah. And if we if we look at it from the outside, there are certain certain people to whom which the handmaid is omnipotent as well. Yeah. That's true. She's not she's not to the readers, obviously, like we know this, but she is granted a substantial amount of power from English. Yeah. This is a good point. But it's just This is still this is still an F, but yeah. Like we're we're just twisting around trying to make it work, but it doesn't. It doesn't work. It's wrong. Yeah. Hard F. Moving on. Yep. Omnipotent trickster gets an F. Moving on. Uh, this is Jake and Dirk. Save a horse, ride an adventurer. God, junior high me would have loved this one. I actually I would have hated it because fucking everyone was singing that song because I lived in a rural town. <laughs> See, uh, this is another one that's like this is a great fic name, but yeah. it, it's an unwieldy ship name. Yeah, yeah, especially adventurer, yeah. like cowboy. Right there, we go adventurer. Too well, much because it's like uh, the. I guess the point of this is again that like Dirk is a brony. Yeah. And Jake is I I don't it's not it's not that deep. It is an unwieldy name. Yeah. Uh as as we're going to come across later as well. But Yeah. Should have been a fic name. Should have been a fic name. F for I fanfic still, I st- name. <laughs> I, st- <laughs> I do I do think it makes some degree of sense, so I'm still going to put it at a D, not an F. But yeah, it's Nah, I agree. It's 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 D. I yeah, I'll say D just because especially when this was coming out, like people were still high on the save a horse ride a whatever. Uh me yeah. not to say that it's like unknown and people never use it now, but it was definitely more in that time period. Yeah. Uh, save a horse ride an adventure it gets a d uh, someone gets the d um okay i i'm gonna take i'm gonna take this i'm gonna take this because this is you're gonna sit here for way too long trying to parse together this horrible abomination of a word go for it this is aradia and equius 
sadomaso robo necro bestiality. Okay, so sadomasochism um, yes. is in there. Uh, robo robophilia. Because... Yeah. Yep. Uh, necrophilia and bestiality. Because she yes. dead. Um, yep. She's dead. She's a robot. Uh, she's a and frog. She's a frog. And, and she's a frog. Uh, yeah. Equius is a masochist. See, I actually, on an offhanded note, uh, I actually did already have this word in in my head as soon as it came on screen because uh, there is a uh, on in one of the Land of Fans and Music albums there is a parody of Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. That is oh this. God. That is about oh. this ship. <laughs> oh my Wait, God. So, okay, hold on. So this name does have like some wider acceptance. Uh, like, yeah, yeah. No, it, it's a it's a song title technically. Okay, so okay. like <laughs> Sadomasosaurus Roba Necrobestiality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, exactly okay. Like singing. That. Okay, that changes everything. <laughs> that was, that was that was very fun. Yeah, that absolutely changes what I was gonna give. I think this is an A. Yeah, uh, uh, hard agree. Maybe may, maybe an S. Maybe maybe not quite. S for super uh, uh, fragile escape. Oh my god, I can't even fucking <laughs> say it. You could you said you said the wrong one correctly, but the one that everybody <laughs> knows you can't do. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not reading that one. <laughs> Uh, there we go i had to do it okay uh, uh so we're we're going with this this is an a a yeah uh just because like i think you have to know the like if if it was way clearer that it was from that like maybe back in the time period it would be an s but like since you have to know yeah. that it's um with with without that knowledge i would have put it at c or d because again this is a very unwieldy ship name yeah but but, like, but with point. that context, that makes it so fucking good. It's so good. All right, Sadomaso Robo Necrobestiality gets an A. <laughs> okay, okay. So I, I have the context for this one. Um, so I mean, Dami also might have the context for this one, but this is a John and Dad Egbert, and it's John loves his daddy. Tommy, are you aware of the content? Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, so um, I only saw it because I've been doing a bunch of, like, archiving of, like, really old incest stuff. And there is a, uh, it's almost like a, a copy pasta meme of someone, like, starting out, like, a, a, like, fic about John loving his daddy. And it's, like... Egbert Cest and it's really like cringy and weird and hard to read and just very I don't know I don't know how to describe it um but like I could imagine it being something that people did like voice recordings of that people like uh you know like a copy pasta just put into different situations and stuff or or, or would just like copy and paste it and like just just send it to people out of nowhere like the B movie script except a lot shorter um so i'm assuming that this is coming from that like the baby is you but john loves his daddy okay so in in like the world of homestuck fix is is john loves his daddy like on the same sort of tier as uh but then who was phone or or no john you are the demons is it kind of that like level of infamy or i don't think so because again i only found it because i was digging through archive stuff i haven't seen it uh seen anyone like post it anywhere anywhere recently um so i don't know what it was back then when it was posted in like 2010 or whatever but i did see it like get referenced in a couple people like in several posts from back then um okay. but i don't think it reached any I don't think it reached out of like the circle of non strider cest incest shippers. Okay. And it was just like a Tumblr post from what I can tell. I don't know if it's actually posted on AO3 or anything. 
because it's just a couple of paragraphs from what I remember. Okay. This gets a D from me because it's just, it's another, just a description. It doesn't, it's not yeah. Yeah. clever. No, yeah, this... I hate to have, have you given all that context only for me to agree that it's like, it's just a D, but like. No, absolutely. I also agree it's a D, but I feel you had to know the context behind it. Like it's, it's an in joke is what the ship name is. More gotcha. than other ship names. Still a D. John Still loves a D. his daddy. Yeah, it's a yeah. D. D for daddy. So so this is uh, Dave and bro. Or was this specifically Dave, Cal, and bro? This is specifically the thruple of Dave, <laughs> Lil Cal, and bro. Thruple. Hearing them described as a thruple is more disconcerting <laughs> than the ship itself. <laughs> like it, it gives it some legitimacy. Like, you go over to their house, like, yeah, I'm in a thruple. Like, they, he's like, yeah, I'm in a thruple. And you go over. And it's like, yeah, so there's uh, my boyfriend, my brother, a... dad, and uh, my other boyfriend, his puppet. <laughs> it's like you're getting murdered if you go over there, you know? I. Okay, look. The ship name is also the master and his puppets. Because okay, never no. said that. <laughs> oh, oh, my bad. Yeah, the master and his puppets. Let's let the little cow uh, Stan say some words. What are you doing stealing my joke? That joke is mine. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm on record as being a noted little cow enjoyer. Yeah. So any any ship that gives little Cal some romantic agency is something I can be down for. Yeah. Uh, I think this is a solid C though. <laughs> it's it's a it's another descriptor. Yeah. It is. I think it's a very clever descriptor. Yeah. But it is it is just a descriptor. But I I do think it's it's clever, uh, it, which it, is why it gets C. But it's yeah, a it's clever. It, it goes it goes a lot into. Like bros manipulation and yeah, and, and all like, of that. But <clears throat> but yeah, it's also it's also um, a play on the Metallica song. Oh yeah, oh, I, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Loosely, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. Didn't think about that. Yeah, I, I'd still put this in like. I I might put it in B because I do kind of like this one. It is just a descriptor, but I think it's a very very good descriptor. I think it is the most correct you could get without just this without just leaving the like descriptor status and going into an actual ship name. Okay. Uh, but I'm I'd I'd be happy if you guys agree with C. I could, I I I think I think I could be I could be down for B. Okay. But it's only because I'm a little Cal Enjoyer. Yeah, uh, <laughs> let's give little Cal Enjoyers a win and give it a B. Don, About I love fucking some of time that. we get something. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's... No, there's there's a little Cal fucking Enjoyer revival right now. Like, there's so much meta about little Cal and so many good little Cal fix. Uh, He's fascinating. After. Yeah. He's the worst. He's the worst. <laughs> He's the worst. Okay. Uh, the master and his puppets get to be. Yeah. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. You know, this thruple has rights. <laughs> I don't know if so, that's true. <laughs> there's, there's so much venom in the word thruple when it comes from you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's, it's uh, Aradia and Solix, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. And that is just straight up uh, an Indiana Jones title. Yeah. It's this another is, I, Aradia Indiana Jones movie title. Yeah. Yeah. This this is literally the exact same thing where just Solix is, is a temple and he is Doom and Aradia is plundering him. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. I, I think. Okay. If I may be honest, okay, I like this one more because yeah. it's just the movie title with no changes. And it's also, well, okay, I won't say it's the one that people like. Isn't this the racist one? Yes. Okay. 
hey, why do you want me to watch these movies again? I said this is the racist one, not that they're <laughs> all the racist one. It's from the 80s. What do you want from it? Uh, the first pick one any has 80s melting movie zombies. The second yeah. one is racist. That's an incredibly 80s character arc for a series. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? You're fucking right. <laughs> I don't like it. But you're right. What do, what are we giving this one? What did we give the last one? I want to give whatever we gave Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Green Skull, but like one higher. Didn't we give that one an F? Okay, then this one gets the honor of being a D. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. D for Doom. D for Doom. D for Doom. Okay, we have Equius uh, and Gamzee. Used to be a ship, but then it took an arrow to the knee. Uh, I hate it. Skyrim. I hate it. I hate it uh, so Skyrim just goddamn out. much. No. Haha. Uh, have, no. have, have you played Skyrim? Have you played Skyrim yet? Isn't it so good? F, we're moving on. <laughs> you don't on my screen anymore. Get this off my fucking screen right now. Let's go. You heard the lady... <laughs> oh my god, this is what this is one that got brought up in that episode. Um we have uh Kanaya, Nepeta, and Fafari, and it's the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. I am quite fond of this one. I do I, I do kinda like this one. Yeah, I like it. <clears throat> Even though it is again just descriptors of Nepeta is the lion, Fafari is the witch, and Kanai is the wardrobe. Okay, but I feel it, like by then we're it, stretching the definition of what a description is. Like, right? Yeah, like, but like, it's it this doesn't have anything to do with the. It doesn't sorry. have anything to do with the ship itself. Is more what I mean. But yeah, it's it's still very good because of how well it fits. Yeah. I, my opinions on this are similar to my opinions on the last one, which is it, it works because it gets to just be the thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I am tempted to give it like, like, like a C. I like okay. it. I was thinking a B. I was also kind of thinking a B because I do, I do actually like this. Yeah. I will... I will acquiesce to the group because I also like it, but I want it noted that I do recognize that this uh, is counter to my previously stated uh, tier intentions. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's fine. We're not here to be consistent. This it's, is a Homestuck podcast. It's, You're right. Right. Because it's it is also a little bit unwieldy, but it like it's it's so it's so good. It's so perfect. But like the line, the witch in the wardrobe just has a flow to it, and maybe that's just because I'm yeah. inundated with the you know, with it being in the culture. But, like, it's it's got the flow and it fits these three so well. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe gets a B. Okay. Go ahead. Me? <laughs> Go ahead. Um. Okay, this is uh, Mulan and Curlos. And it's... Uh, uh, why is I? Why is <laughs> I was trying to say why is Dami not doing this and why am I doing this at the same time? Uh, uh, Riders and Ninjets. Is this I one? don't. I'm not doing it because I don't get it. Is it? Is this it not either. an ICP reference? No. I thought I saw Ninjets and that seemed like an ICP thing. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. Uh, okay, so Psychopathic Ridus is, uh, another artist that's, uh, under the Juggalo record label, um, oh. and the Ninjets- There's a Juggalo record label? Yeah, 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 ICP owns their own record label, they have other people that they, uh, they, 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 you know, hire, whatever the fuck record labels do. Okay, alright. Um... And the Ninjets looks like a comic series. Uh, also, I will say there is uh, the... Like, Juggalos do, because, you know, ICP are like white guys. They do, like, the, the N-word ninja thing. 
Mm. See, you know, I hear about that, but I always just thought that it was the obsession with ninjas at the time because everyone it's fucking both. loved ninjas. It's both. It's it's both of them. They okay. they play with the fact that it that it is like also kind of a pun, right? Because like fucking Doctor McNinja was like a huge deal. Um. Oh my god. That you just un- you just unlocked so many things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm doing a, a web comic. Have you heard of this web comic thing on, on Tumblr and Dr. McNinja was unearthed for me. Very, very tangentially to Dr. McNinja only because they shared the word ninja and came around at the same time. Uh, I was really into Ask a Ninja around then. I don't think I've seen Which was, it was, it, it's, it's really bad if you go and like find his videos now. It's just oh! a guy in like a really bad ninja costume yes, yes, answering yes. basic questions. Yeah. Um, Mostly with the answer of because I'm a ninja. <laughs> yeah, that sounds right. That's that pretty right. good though. So yeah, yeah, so I assumed like ninja was like nin like ninjets, like dude and dudettes, ninja ninjets. There are a lot of layers to this ship name to and they're unpack. All bad. And they're all like just so not related to the ship itself. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna go F tier same i yeah i i don't i don't understand this one you you two have so much better understanding of this than i do i don't get it and it scares me so it's an f <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't work no yeah moving on right as in in jets gets an f okay uh we have aqueous and fairy and it's arrowfish Get it? Get it? Because he, he uses a bow, uses and a she's a fish. Bow, and she's she's a fish. An arrow fish is the type of fish. It's a D. Yeah, this is bad. This is a D. Yeah, it's gonna go F, but D's fine. Uh, okay. This is Carcat and Terezi and Dave. I'm just cracking up at how you position them because like sometimes it's like okay I get that they're like opposite each other because the way you have the words formatted and or or like with um with with the the thruple how it was like okay but it's like the master and his puppets so like the puppets are together but this is just like Carcat and Terezi staring <laughs> down Dave. <laughs> it does make Dave feel particularly third wheeled in this thruple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, Car-cat. the ship name. Hey, Terezi, are you and Dave fighting again? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the ship name is Adora Blood Thirsty Cool Kids Everywhere. Yep, it's too much. It's it is it is again very unwieldy, and it's just just a combination of shit that they've said. Yeah, I don't I don't have a cool song title to save this one. I'm sorry. And I don't get, like, cool kids everywhere. Like, adding on everywhere, I guess, I don't know. Because like, Carcat isn't a cool kid. Carcat's not a cool kid. Like, I could see yeah. the, the three of them being adorable blood thirsty, even though that is the Terezi Carcat ship name, which I'm sure we'll get to. Uh, and the cool kids is is the Terezi, di- but, like, it's just bad. But it yeah, this shouldn't is just, even this is, be this is the two... Terezi... Sorry. This is this is two different ship names slammed together where they don't belong. Plus, yeah. everywhere tacked on at the end. Yeah, yeah. It shouldn't even be like Adora Bloodthirsty, and like I'll say this again when we get there. I'm sure shouldn't even be the Carcat Terezi ship name because the whole thing with Team Adora Bloodthirsty is that it's it's Carcat like it's it's the team name for all of them, right? Like. The Twelve Trolls sh- ship name should be Team Adora Bloodthirsty in the same way that, like, Alpha Beta Soup is for all the kids, right? Oh, that's right. Mm, I just okay. remember it being, wasn't it, like, in a conversation between Karkat and Terezi? Yes. Okay. Probably. Uh, anyway, this is an F. It's too many words, and they're all bad. This, and this is an F. It's, this is all one word, by the way. I forgot oh, the hyphen. Oh, it's all one word. This is, this is all, all one, one word. word. <laughs> That is funnier, but no, it's an <laughs> It's F. like funnier and worse. Yeah. Adora Bloodthirsty Cool Kids Everywhere that are not actually everywhere because it's only two-thirds of the ship gets an F. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, so this Christ. is Aradia and Gamzee, and it's Indiana jonesing for a fix. And I love I this one. I, I really like this one. Yeah. This one's pretty good. I'm gonna get sick of I'm gonna get sick of Indiana Jones jokes. But yeah. this one's good. This is the this only one is good very... one. This is this hey, again, spoilers. This is the only good Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> um I hard A, I would say. A, yeah, I'm go I'm I'm good with an A. Yeah, I'm I'm also good. I was going to say an S, but like I'm good I'm good putting this at an A. I I love that. That's a that's a good it's a good quality. Uh I don't know if you'd call that a pun. It kind of is. It's a pun. Yeah. Yeah. Um I I don't know. Like I think maybe if there weren't so many other Indiana Jones things we could bump it up to an S, but like it's just wearing yeah. us down, man. <laughs> so this is the randomizer's fault. It's the fandom is what you're saying. Yeah, okay. You know what? That's fair. That's very homestuck of us. Yeah. It is. <laughs> yeah, you Indiana get penalized Jones. for the sins of your forefathers. Get out right. of here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Indiana Jonesing for a fix gets an A. Okay. Yeah, okay. This is Bro and Dave, and it's Major Dirk sucking. Again, kind of funny, but... Yeah. It's, I think it's, like, extra funny since for a while people thought that Dirk's name was going to be Dick because they had the first two letters. That um, is a good layer. Yeah. I just feel it was way funnier in 2012. Yeah. Yeah. It can this, be a this would have been This would have been so much funnier before we knew Dirk's name. It can be allowed a C. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Major Dirk Sucking gets a C then, I guess. Okay, this is, uh, I hate, like, tainting these from the start. Uh, it's Tavros <laughs> and Aridin, and it's the prince and his peasant. I don't understand why they changed it from pauper to peasant. Does Aridin yeah. call him a peasant at some point? Uh, I don't remember if it's in the text, but I can, I can hear Aridin saying the word peasant a lot. It's true. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, it just feels like a weird thing to switch. Yeah. This is both a descriptor like and, and wrong. This is an F. Yeah, yeah it's an F. It's a hard it's F. There's, there's so many things in the F pile. Yeah. Homestuck Fic Writers get better ship names. I think ship names are just way harder than people give them credit for. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. true. And I think... At least one of the lists was just people trying to come up with names for just about everything. Um, and I I Maybe. think that they just did it over a, a, a Discord or Skype call at two in the morning. That, that's what a lot of this feels like, honestly. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't put it past them. It's also sort of what we're doing now. It's not two in the morning. <laughs> just the op but the opposite. <laughs> we're just... We're, we're judging, judging that 2 a.m. <laughs> Skype call. <laughs> yeah. We're judging that 2 a.m. Skype call at 8 p.m. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, the prince and his peasant. I, I keep was wanting say, to say we're pheasant in our 30s. for some reason. That's also. I wasn't going to say. But Dami's not in the 30s. Dami, get older. No. Get older. Get older right now. <laughs> get older. Right now. <laughs> right now. Uh, anyway, I'm still sorry. a year away from being in my upper twenties. Get on my level. I really thought I you were just gonna. To. I I really <laughs> thought the word upper wasn't gonna be there. And I was... <laughs> <laughs> no, God no. Like, oh my God, what have we been doing? Um. Uh, the prince and his peasant gets an F. Yeah. Uh. Okay. This is Aridin and Roxy. And it's wizards uh, with two W's and an exclamation point. And I think it's cute. It's cute. It's, very, it's, it's really cute. It's a descriptor in quirk, which gives it more points. Yeah. Yep. I I think it's like a solid... Uh, uh, the composite parts add up to a B, but yeah. the sum is more than its parts, which I think makes it an A. Yeah. I'm I'm right with you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. 
we need to disagree more, you know? <laughs> Why? This is so long already. <laughs> we'll have disagreements at some point. We probably, we've had one so far. Uh, Yeah, well, Wizards gets an A. Wizards. Remember when everyone thought Aridin, or made Aridin Irish? Like, that's how they did I his do. accent? I do. It was Irish? It was an Isn't odd Irish? choice. I don't. I don't think I heard that much. All I can hear is uh, is Octopimp's Airden. Yeah, yeah. I never listened to. I just had Octopimp come up when I was trying to find ringtones, and I hated it because I was trying to find ringtones, not someone talking. Um, <laughs> That's fair. But uh, this is Airden and Fafari, and it's fish kisses. Mm, it just makes that fishy face. Mm. I like it because it makes me want to do the fishy face. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh! I hard disagree. I hate this. Hey, we got to disagree with we you. We did wanted. it. I hate I'm, this I'm very, so much. <laughs> I'm very indifferent on this one to like put me right in the middle. <laughs> I, I think it's, so. I should don't... we just all split the difference and say C? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I I guess I guess so. Sure, fish kiss. <laughs> you don't you, want to make you a little did fishy it. face. You made you made it a pun. The fish kisses <laughs> in the sea. Oh my god! Oh my god! I. Mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, I doubt we're gonna disagree on this one. It's John and Vriska. Do you remember me? And this just ages like shit. Um. Because I assume this, is, this was a, a ship name that came out in like 2010. And do you remember me? No one is ever going to think of John Friss from this. They're going to think of Friss Rezzy. But, okay, okay. I I have to no. Well, mm, okay. I hear you, right? And S Remember does taint this a little bit. But yeah. do you remember me specifically has always been associated with John Rezzy. Like it's really? a thing. Yeah, no, it's a yeah. thing that she says to him in the comic in that yeah. uh, well, scene because... where they meet each other in the dream bubbles. No, I know and that. Also, like, I know it's a from. song on the soundtrack. Oh, it's a see, John Rezzy song, song in the soundtrack. I uh, meant John Riss. Yes. Yeah. I, I guess, you know, I guess I just didn't. I just don't pay attention to song titles enough. Yeah, same. This ship I, name left its impact on the fandom. Gotcha. This ship name is this ship name is very sad, and this that is, makes it good. This is why we have you around, Dami. The, like, explicitly, uh, this. this technically, this is technically this is a canon ship name since it's in canon material in the soundtrack. Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah. It's also so much. I mean, it's a lot. We like. It's also. Is is this is this uh John Vriska or is this explicitly like that version of John that went and killed himself? I mean, it's got to be that, right? It is that. Yeah. It is a very specific John Vriska, but like you know, yeah. it's Homestuck. Yeah. If that counts. Yeah. yeah. I I I I like this one. I don't think it's like outstanding or great. I'll put it like I I would put it maybe like a low A. Oh, oh man! I I really I really like this. It's 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 sad. It gives me just saying the name. Do you remember me? Gives me feelings. I agree with A because of the history behind this particular name. Oh, I'm outvoted. So <laughs> well, what 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 would you what would you do it though? Like we gotta I just argue. Don't care about it? Like I just <laughs> like to be clear. I talked a lot about how much I love John Vris, how much I love this moment, how sad it is, how much I love everything about this 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 ship, these two characters, and this moment with them. And I don't fucking like the ship name. <laughs> um, I I would give it like a D, honestly. Like maybe a C because of the fandom history, but like I'm I'm also letting myself be outvoted. So fair enough. 
Okay, what if what if I point out that the B in remember is an eight? Again, I just maybe <laughs> I've just been around too much of the late fandom, but remember with a B only is that specific version of Riss Resi to me. Yeah. Like that's all I can think of when I think of remember with a B, is I think of that version of Riss Resi. Okay. This the is only fair. good uh, version of Riss Resi, by the way. Every so other version we... of Riss Resi sucks. I guess, uh, sure, sure, Jan. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, what do we do? We how about no? I said you guys can have an A, (laughs) but there's two two A's. There's two A's and one D, so we give this a B, right? It would be very funny to give this one an eight because that's a B (laughs) in Briscoe's work. Do so we're just letting me get to change our metrics now, huh? <laughs> I guess that's the homesick thing to do. Okay. It's a B do in Briska's you... quirk, making it an eight. <laughs> do you remember me gets the Vriska B? That's <laughs> uh this is Dave and Friska and it's blood in the ocean. She's not like I, 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 I feel it's I feel it's only their 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 typing colors. Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, Vriska has some like oceanic theming from Mindfang and like some of her like very early, um, flarping. But like, it yeah. doesn't and and stay and dead theme. Daves are the enemy. So there's like a lot of blood. That's yeah, true. And there's a lot of Dave's blood on Vriska's hands specifically. There's a lot of everyone's blood on Friska's hands specifically. Like, we're not talking about everyone else. We're talking about Dave. But I feel like uh, there's more. I mean, there's there's a lot of Dave blood on on Terezi hands. You know, like yeah. Dave blood's being on someone's hands isn't a unique thing for Dave. It's not. It's absolutely also, not. You're correct. Also, like. I get it. I get why you type ocean here because it feels a little more piratey, right? But if you're gonna go this far into it barely making sense, why would you not just say blood in the water? Right. Yeah. Because Hard then F. it like it does have more of a um it invokes more of a feeling of danger, right? Yeah. Which is a risky yeah. thing. Yeah, Vriska Vriska is a shark in pretty much every sense of the word except literal. Yeah. I would agree with you that blood in the water would make a lot more sense. Uh Yeah, this gets an F. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Yeah. Blood in the ocean gets an F. Uh this is Tavros and Aridin and it's Torso Bros. It's funny because they both got cut in half. Yeah. I will say, I will say, at the very least, I know who the fuck this is talking about. Yeah. (laughs) Yes. Yes, you do. Blood in the Ocean. Uh, I I have no clue who that's talking about. This, I know. Oh my God, right. Blood in the Ocean could have been Carcat and Aridin. Yeah. God. But Torso Bros, I like it. I like Torso Bros. Torso Bros is good. I I'm I'm put I want to put this right in an A. Yeah. Okay. I'm down with A. Yeah, I'm I'm good with I A. Would, I would say a B, but I'm good with A, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's ve- it's 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 short, it's succinct, it's cl- it's very clever. Yeah. It's clear exactly who you're talking about. Yeah. Torso Torso Bros gets an A. Good on them. Good for them. Um, this is Tavros and Friska. It is peanut butter and bitch sandwich. Hate it. Absolutely it's hate it. Right off it's the bat, it's it's bad. It's bad. It fe- it feels horrible to say. Yeah, it's okay. You're. I get it. Like Friska's a bitch. That's a thing that's said in comic multiple times. And and Tavros is peanut butter, and that's a ship part of a ship name that gets used multiple times. But it doesn't. It doesn't go together. It's bad. No, this is this is this is very bad. This is an it's F. Just an F. Yeah. Moving on. 
this is a classic. This is Nepeta and Equius, and it's Meow Rails. Yes, excellent, perfect. S-tier. No notes. Icon. Yeah. Iconic. tier. Yep. Iconic. This is the ship. Easy, easy S. Yeah, easy, like just the ship name, Meow Rails. Oh, here we go. Uh, it's uh, Aradia oh. and Fafari, and it's the princess and the popper. This one says popper. Why couldn't yeah. that Yeah, one? yeah, this one works. Yeah, I don't love it, but it works. Yeah. Um, also, I just feel like it fits them better. Like, I, I read a fucking spark notes of Prince and the Popper fucking ages ago. And I feel like these two have more of that relationship than, um, who was it? Tavros and Aridin? Um Yeah. Yeah. A radio would have to file her horns down a bit, but they could get there. Yeah. Um. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I I I put this at a C because it's still like not great. It's still like yeah. just. But it sounds again, better. It, yeah, I I'd put it. It does. C. It does sound better. I feel like again, this would be like a good fic name. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And in fact, probably is several fic names. Honestly. It's gotta be. See, it is. All right, Princess and the Popper get to see. We have Jake and Dirk. Portal Pan Romantics. So this is confusing because it implies that they're both pan romantic. Like, I don't know if pan romantic is referring to something besides the romantic orientation. Right. I don't think so either because they're like like Dirk is explicitly not yeah yeah this one's weird I also don't get I, why I, I, maybe this just needs to be explained to me why portal I'm assuming it's because um the purifier and stuff that that Dirk used to send stuff to Jake well, okay, we we should probably nail this down now because the word portal appears in a lot of Jake ships. So I feel oh. like it has something to do with him. Oh, why? I don't Oh, I don't get know. that. I assumed because like you know, Dirk has the significator or whatever. Yeah. And Roxy has the purifier. And see, if anybody was going to get portal in their ship name with other alphas, I would assume it would be Roxy because she has the Fenestrated planes. The problem yeah, is that's those right. Windows, right? Why yeah. would Jake be por- por- I- I'm trying to think of like, okay, well, is there a portal reference then? Is it because in Portal Two the orb is British? I'm just stretching it a lot. He, I, um, I don't know. He he does have the capability to send stuff to the to the Beta universe. Oh, that's right. But he that does. also but doesn't like he, play into oh, this dynamic. Yeah. But it like doesn't. he. Yeah, I don't know. It's nothing about this. Nothing about this makes sense. I'm giving it an F. Yeah, F. This is this is the most incorrect one we've seen so far, I feel yeah. like. Like, especially since, not to push my aromantic Jake agenda, but, like, he does specifically say that he doesn't know if he can form a romantic attach- had attachment, so it's just mm-hmm. calling either of them pan-romantic seems wild. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, this one's wrong. It's wrong. Portal Pan Romantics gets an F. Oh! Remember this one? Uh, I mean, you do, because you made the graphic. Uh, this is Kanaya, Dirk, and uh, Caliborn. Uh, Dirk and Caliborn are again in the image, ganging up <laughs> on Kanaya, but I think maybe they're safer in numbers. Um, <laughs> it's uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I get Texas. I get, get Chainsaw. chainsaw. Massacre. I guess. I guess Massacre. Yeah. yeah. And I feel I this th- one. I, I feel this one hits the same point as Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, but it's a little bit clumsier. Yeah, I agree with that. It doesn't spark joy. Yeah. So we think in a uh, D. I don't. I don't think it's not that bad. I want to. I want to give it a C. A C. Okay. I, can, I just. Like, I oh yeah, because we gave we gave Lion Witch Wardrobe a B. 
right? It says ABC. Probably. Yeah. I don't remember. The instant the slide is gone, I forgot what's on it. That's, That's fair. <laughs> if you both say it's a D, then it's a D. I, I think I'm it's a D. Oh, I'm not in control saying... of anything. I will acquiesce uh, to C. I, I do kind of like it, and it did bring me joy with the first time I saw it. Uh, so I'll give it a C. Okay. Texas Chainsaw Massacre gets a C. All right. Uh, so we have the psionic and the condus. Uh, extremely funny. The psionic looks so much bigger than her in this. Because <laughs> uh, her horns have to take up so much space. Um, the ship name is I'm in love with my car. And I love it. It's so it's good. A it's a fic name more than it's a ship name. But I love it so much. No, it's a good joke. <laughs> it's a yeah. very good joke. <laughs> Fuck all my standards. I love this one's an A. Yeah. yeah, this one's this one's an A. It would be an S if it wasn't also a funny fic name. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm in love with my car. Is an A. Yeah, it's very good. Okay, we have Rose and Nepeta, and it's Octopussy. It's a pun. Do you get it? Do you get it? It's yeah. Um, Do you get it because Nepeta is James Bond? That's true. <laughs> so you've watched James Bond? I have played 007 for the N64 and okay. I watched okay. I think it was Moonraker. What the fuck is Moonraker? Moon something. Cool. I haven't watched James. I've watched like some of the new ones, the Daniel Craig ones before he was set free. Yeah. And then Moon? I know a little bit about James Bond via osmosis because uh, some of my dad's side of the family liked it. So they'd talk about it at Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Moonraker does sound like an off brand James Bond movie name. All right. I got to I got to know. Yeah. Yeah, Moonraker is the name of the of, of it. It's the 11th James... Oh my god, how fucking many of these are there? There's so many James Bond movies. Too many. In in 1979, it was the 11th James <laughs> Bond film. Oh, oh my anyway, god. Anyway. This ship name is kind of a funny pun. It can be a C, I think, maybe. Yeah, I'll let it be a C. That's fine. I would put it higher, but that's that's fine. It is. It's pretty. It's pretty middle of the road. So what? How how much higher would you put it? Just a just a B uh, just, or just a B? Yeah. Because I I feel like this is because so I've already kind of done this ranking in my head as I was making all of these slides. Of course, as you do, um and. I personally put all of the, like, food ones, which we haven't really gotten to a lot of them yet, but I kind of put all the food ones into C as, like, my baseline, and I would rank this above that. Okay. I think if either of them were actually James Bond themed in some way, there was some relevance to James Bond for both of these, I would give it higher. But they're just not James Bond characters. This is a fair point. That would be a yeah. good fanfic, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nepeta could do the spy thing real easy. Yeah, and Rose could play the, the, the femme fatale lady who is bad, but fucks Bond anyway. Yeah. She could. For some I reason, could also... I was putting her as a... Uh, Q? Is that the name? Yeah, I could also see her as Q. That's what I was going to say, too. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. I could absolutely see Rose being like, look at all this fancy shit I've got for you. Yeah. Distant, uber-knowledgeable support with cool gadgets. Definitely. And also, I knitted you a sweater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, she yeah. started to knit you a sweater and she stopped halfway through. Right, yeah. Oct... So what do we just, C? Yeah. Okay. Octopussy gets a C. Dave and Friska. Firefly in a spider web. Dave is not a firefly. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't really understand either. I know. I know why. Lava? 
Oh. I know why. Yeah? It is actually because Dave's planet is lava, partially. It's because for a while there was this thing that people were trying to do where they were trying to assign each of the kids to, like, the four classical elements. And Dave was obviously fire within that framework. Yeah. Right. So but I think it's just Dave's fire association that gets him here. It's bad. It's a, It's so bad. Like... I mean, yeah. especially because, like, I assume this was made, like, early on. Um, but, like, later on, John's planet ends up being Fireflies, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, you're right. So it just makes less sense as time went on. Yeah. Hey, I just noticed something, and I want to point it out. It has nothing to do with anything that we're doing right now. Cool. Okay. Is Dave wearing Crocs? What? You no, could make that our, argument. Um, huh? I said you could make that argument. What? No, why those are, there, are, uh, why are there why are there holes in his shoes? No, those are Converse. But Vriska's wearing Converse. Vriska's wearing different colored Converse. But her Converse it's, aren't drawn like his Converse. I'm it just makes way more sense that he's wearing Converse than crocs why would crocs have two holes uh because it's done in ms paint okay but, oh my god you're correct every single converse has the two holes on the side yeah i, I fucking I know. Didn't know that i didn't know that i okay. i was i one of my friends in high school was fucking obsessed with converse and skater cu- culture okay this this is an f this doesn't make a lot of sense no. <laughs> yeah Firefly in a spider web gets an F. Uh, this is Equius and Dirk, and it's bronies with benefits, and it's an S for me. Yeah, S, I'll hear no other argument. Sure. <laughs> yeah. This is, another, this, this is another one that I'm really not sure how I felt about. So yeah, I'll, I'll just go along with you. It's bronies so with benefits is an S tier. Yeah. Aridin and Fafari, and it's make a wish. With two W's and Why? the parentheses H. I don't... The the parentheses H is to mimic the Pisces uh, <laughs> symbol. Well, yeah, yes, that's also you, her <laughs> typing quirk. Yeah. I thought that's what you said you didn't understand. No. It's why? Why, why does Make-A-Wish have anything to do with... I don't get it. Uh, I don't, I'm racking my brain trying to think about it, too. Like, he's a prince of hope. That's probably it. Bad. F tier. Yeah. Agree. F tier. Yeah. Yeah, if we had one of those tier list makers, uh, it would just be like an overly bloated F and like virtually nothing else. <laughs> yeah. we ha- it'd, be, it'd be F and C would be like overburdened. And then yeah. I think D is both A and S combined. Yeah. Uh, Rose and Kanaya, hot lesbians on a meteor. Correct. This... Correct. That's a porn title. <laughs> it's a description. <laughs> it's a fanfic title. And also any name that we get for these two is going to be tainted by, you know, the one. Yeah. So, like, but nothing like, can be S tier for these two, except for, for sure. the one. But you, this, this is correct. You, like, you are correct, though. This is the title of the, of a porn. Yeah, this is their porn tape. Oh, my God. Rosa, can I have made a porno? This is their... No, I, it almost Vriska makes it better. a tape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Making it the porn tape title almost makes it better than it's worth. Because <laughs> otherwise, I'm not really a fan. I think it's a D. Yeah. Okay. That's that's fair. Hot lesbians on a meteor. Uh, ironically enough, gets the D. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we didn't say hot cis lesbians. You know what? Uh, you're all you're very correct. <laughs> we have Tavros and uh Kanaya in its peanut butter and grub sauce. 
Okay, eh, I think it's no. funny this is the first food one we get. Yeah, well, it's technically, se- it's, for peanut it's butter, we've second... gotten a different peanut butter. Yeah, it's the second, True. but... Eh. Yeah. The first one wasn't really food-related in my mind. Yeah. Fair enough. So, um, hear me out, right? Yeah. I think if we had gotten any of, like, any significant number of the other food ones before this one, this one would rank higher. Really? Because I think, personally, right, the use of grub sauce here is great because Kanaya's a jade blood. It's like an alien thing that doesn't like it. I I think the use of the alien food makes this one a uh, slightly more creative than the other food ones, personally, and it relates back to Kanaya in a way that I think works. I I see where you're coming from with that. What what are you saying for a rating? I mean. Personally, I feel like the majority of the food ones are not C, they're D, so I would want to put this one as C. But if Justin's saying that the baseline of the food ones is C, maybe B? So, I feel like, based on the way that we have been rating these, because again, when I put everything, when I put all the food ones as a baseline of C, that's Hmm. when we were doing it, when, when I was doing it in my head before we started, where there was no F. Okay. Oh. Uh, so I feel like with the sort of rearrangement that we've done and how we've been rating these so far, I'm going to change and put all of these food ones in D. Could I get a C out of you two? I'll give you a C. Uh, that's fine. I'll give you a C. Peanut butter just, and grub sauce gets a C. I just have Go my on. own ship name for these two, which isn't even a ship name. It's a... A uh, Weezer song title that's not even just a Weezer song title it's a reference to a real thing so without all of those layers it makes no sense uh go you know what it's a ship name go ahead and say it and we'll judge it right now yeah me and Justin in will rate of, your in, ship name in front <laughs> of you it's gonna be bad um pink triangle okay oh, okay yeah uh I don't I don't get it uh, somebody explain it to me. Do you get it, Dami? You've explained this to me before. Okay. <laughs> or you've you've at least told me about this song before, so I get it, but go off. So there's a Weezer song where uh, the guy sees a girl he's really into at a party and starts imagining their future life together and then sees a pink triangle on her sleeve. Uh, which is, you know, like a gay symbol. So it's like, ah, fuck, you're a lesbian, so I have no chance with you, but I have all these fantasies now. Um, so it's just like, ah, damn, she's a lesbian. It's not gonna happen. Uh, it's a song about that. Okay. That that does make a lot of sense with the context. I and think with it... the, the Pester Quest route specifically, Tavros's Pester Quest route. Mm, okay. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I... that gets to a B. Yeah, I also agree. I think that gets to a B. And you know what? We need to do this twice more because that brings our total up to 411. <laughs> I need to come up with more ship na- or you two. I come up with one. At you some, po- at some point over the course of this, we need to come up with another two <laughs> so we yeah. can so we can make it the perfect round number of 413. I'll make it happen. Mm-hmm. The roundest Appreciate number. You guys being very generous with me. <laughs> No, uh, I ironically think it's good. Like, I would rate it yeah. highly if it showed up here. Nice. Yeah. Uh, uh, without the context, I don't think it makes much sense, but since you explained it, like, yeah, absolutely. Pink triangle gets a B. <laughs> okay, we got Car Cat and Nepeta, and it's Sour Puss. Which I, I wasn't into at first, and now I think it's kind of cute. It's a descriptor, but it's a cute one. Yeah. yeah. I Because, like, it could just be a descriptor of car cat. <laughs> it is, but it's a it. But explicitly, it's a descriptor of car cat that Nepeta would use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like I it. I think I it's. I feel like nobody else in the story would call car cat a sourpuss except maybe Dave. Yeah, yeah. 
I um, think it's an A. Oh yeah. yeah. I yeah. agree. Sourpuss yeah. is an A. Sourpuss is an A. We have Friska and Equius, and my tone always gives away what I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> this is Neighbors. This is such a good ship name. I love it so much. This is, yeah. I mean, I, I love Neighbors. It's Neighbors with the, the B is an 8. Yeah, I, I, I also, I, I like this. I like that it's it's nay because right. Equius thinks he's a horse, yeah. and they're uh, like literally neighbors, and they're literally neighbors. Yeah, it's iconic. It's, it's got so many labor, layers. This 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 is an S. It's an yeah. iconic one. I recognize this from the old days as well. So there's that bias, but definitely an S. This is S S tier. Yeah. Hell yeah, neighbors gets S. Hell yeah. Rose and Solix, and we are getting to the Solix theme of bees in a rose bush. Is that a reference to anything? Uh, Besides the existence of bees and rose bushes. I don't think it is. Like we could go a layer of it's an innuendo on Rose's bush. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> No, bees in a rose bush is, as far as I can tell, is not a reference to anything unless it's a couple layers removed. It, it's bad. I I don't like it. I don't like it. I like it even less <laughs> with the context that you gave. Just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Get it out of my face. It's an F. F. This bees in a rose bush gets the this sucks. Get it out of my face. <laughs> Gamzee and Aridin, where land meets sea. It's called a beach. This it could, could be Aridin and any land dweller. Well, I feel like, like Gamzee's I... explicitly on a beach, and Gamzee is the the um the the one lower than the sea dwellers. So I That's, I think yeah. it makes more sense. I, I I feel like this is explicitly it is where land meets sea based on their blood cast. Because based on their blood cast, and again, like. Gamzee lives on a beach, like right next yeah. to a beach. Yeah. Okay. I, I okay. think beach buds would have been better. Yeah. I agree. But no. Yeah. But I uh, see where I you're still, coming from. I'll, I'll I'll give it I'll give it a B for beach. What? <laughs> I do. Giving I want this a B. <laughs> I want to give this a B because it makes sense on a couple different layers, but it's not good. But that's a B. <laughs> I was gonna makes... give this like a D. I I okay. do agree with the D. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Where land meets sea gets a D. Okay. I was very yeah. surprised by you saying I, B I actually, for beach. Look, I actually I actually like this. I, I, I do. I, I can't really explain why other than I think it's it's a, it's a very clever to put that saying on their explicit like location in the hemotyping, hemo casting. I guess. Okay. Uh, I guess. Like with their no. casting and their physical locations. I buy your argument. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's that's why I put it there because I think it's clever. I think it is very clever. Like this is a very, this is incredibly clever, and I will give it that. So. See? Yeah. Sure. Because, like, I still don't like it. Like, it's not... It's not good, but it is clever. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I'll go with C. Okay. Uh, where, where land meets C tier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, car cat... And Nepeta cat osmosis. I don't get it. It's a cancer joke. Oh, it's like like osmosis uh, Jones. What? Osmosis (laughs) Jones. I know what osmosis Jones is. I don't see the link. Uh, I think it's a cancer joke. No, it's not a cancer joke. Osmosis is not related to cancer at all. Generally speaking. What the fuck is this on about, actually? It's because they're cat 
I forgot the definition of osmosis. I've stared at the word too long. Uh, osmosis is the process by which um, an organism eats a lot of food and then splits itself in half. No, no, that's, that's mitosis. not it either. That's right? mitosis. That's, like that's the wrong one. I'm sorry. Osmosis, osmosis is the is... opposite. It's 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 the it's the absorption. No, yeah. osmosis is how uh, osmosis is how salt dissipates through water. What? Okay, but that that's too specific. It's got to be more general than that. I mean, it's important. Like osmosis is important for like uh like cell stuff right like cells have yeah. to regulate their osmosis very carefully but like yeah osmosis is osmosis is the process by which cells regulate the distribution of water outside to within them yeah okay but it's not like just salt no because mm -hmm. there's also like cultural osmosis where like even if you've never seen Star Wars, you know yeah. like who Darth Vader is because okay. people don't shut up about it. This it's is just, true. Uh, um, there's also that. I, I don't know how to link that to this ship. Cat Squared would have made sense. I think they were trying to go for something similar to Cat Squared. I, That's the only thing I can think of. It's an F. This is so yeah, much an, an F. We can't spend more time talking about it. <laughs> is it. Is it is it just the dissemination of cats? Like, is that all this is? I think so. That's also bad and F. Yeah. Uh, cat osmosis is an F. Solix and Friska, Psychic Friends Network. That is a reference to something. Right? Uh, it definitely sounds like it. I can't think of what it would be off the top of my head. Tommy, connect us to the youth these days. The Psychic Friends Network was a telephone psychic service operating in the United States in the 1990s. The company's infomercials were aired frequently on late night television at that time. In 2012, Tommy. the business began to migrate to online services. You're too baby for that. It was nineties. <laughs> Give it back to us now. <laughs> this is like the psychic friends. This is like a Miss Cleo sort of thing. Yeah. Except I guess they weren't sued into oblivion and just went on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly that. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Okay. They're just not the only two psychic people, right? They're not. They're not. This this Psychic Friends Network, first off, is a poly ship name. It is. It is. Yes! This yes. should be, like, Vriska, Solix, Aradia, and all of Tavros. their ancestors. And, and Tavros. Tavros. Yes. Yeah. And Tavros. Yeah. Yeah, just being the... And, I mean... and, and net network is from Solix because yeah, yeah because he d because he does networking like but like if we're gonna have network then it should be a poly ship yeah exactly exactly yeah. this is a good this is a good ship name not for this not for this ship yeah how do we rate that good ship not I, for I mean because we did I that guess... with Red Sea it has um, to be low if it doesn't have the right characters for the name yeah, yeah absolutely. This is this is a D at best. Yeah, I'll say a D. I think that's also what we did with the Red Sea one. At least this is more like so more D. descriptive. Yeah. Uh, like these like it technically works for these two. It just doesn't work great. Okay. Psychic Friends Network gets a D. Carcat and Dave, Knights of the Red Table. This one works, but I'm incredibly neutral about it. Yeah. yeah. Try harder. Like it it definitely it definitely works on on a couple different levels, but it's all superficial, I feel like. They're knights and they're red coated. Yeah. See? See? Okay. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Yeah, I can do C. I think okay. it's funny. Our B tier is incredibly slim. Yeah. <laughs> We ha we have <laughs> it's either like meh, terrible, great. It's very hard to get like 
See, um, this is this is why I didn't want an F tier. <laughs> yeah, I, I just it doesn't feel right without an F tier. I think some things need an F stamp when they're that bad. Yeah, a D does That's nothing fine. for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. No comment. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that's isolated in recording. Garland, <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Um <laughs> Knights of the Red Table gets a D. Is that what we said? Right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. John oh. and Dirk. Huh? When this came on screen, my brain literally rearranged the words, which is not a good place to start. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is John and Dirk, and what did you think it said? I don't know. I, But my brain automatically put fresh before Prince. I don't know what took its place, oh. but obviously it did. Because this is Prince of Fresh Air? Uh, I'm trying to think of what else your your brain would have put there, but um, well, you would have definitely because Fresh Prince, yeah. yeah. And this I is think... an obvious. This is obviously a Fresh Prince of Bel Air thing, but they put Fresh Air because windy shit. Yeah, this would have been so much funnier if it was just Fresh Prince of Air. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, didn't Dirk? I, no, I think that was Dave. Dave had something that was called like. I feel like Sweet Air was some sort of thing in the comic. With yeah. one of the striders. Um uh, it was it was David, it was Unreal Air was the shitty oh, JPEG yeah. skateboard that cost negative grist and just floated off into space. It was a okay, sweet well, bro and hella Jeff reference. That's a yeah. Dirk Dave ship name is Prince of uh Unreal Air. But for this meh. Yeah, I don't like it. I see what they were going for, but I don't like it. Yeah. It does not spark joy. Honestly, F, if I'm being frank. Oh, yeah? Okay. I was going to say D. I, I could be convinced to an F. But I don't have to be, because we the Ds outrank you. So Okay. Yeah, it's D. <laughs> Prince of Fresh Air gets a D. Next up, we have Jake and, and Roxy with a panache and a stagger. So, no A, just panache and stagger. But right, not a stagger. It's several stagger. Yeah, <laughs> it's panache, panache and stagger. Like like panache and swagger. Yeah, yeah. stagger. Because I'm he's a drunk. I'm. Hmm. I'm so conflicted about this. Yeah. I think it's clever enough. Like I like the cleverness of it. Yeah. It's not a great ship name though. It's not. It's 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 another one where it's like character a trait and character b trait you know what it is we're back in fanfic land this would be a great land. fanfic name yeah, yeah you're right you're right it's still it's still okay i'd yeah. still put it at c maybe i was thinking c yeah i think it's a i i i think that if anything belongs in b tier it's something like this Oh, okay. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Uh B tier yeah, can... B tier needs some love and <laughs> Roxy can can stagger over there all she wants. <laughs> yeah. We did send this to C tier, but they got a little lost and staggered into B tier instead. <laughs> yeah. That would be a very Jake Roxy thing to do. <laughs> Wind up in a higher tier than they were supposed to go to. <laughs> Uh, absolutely. Roxy took Jake on an adventure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's all that is. Yeah. Uh, Panache and a Stagger somehow ended up in B tier. Oh, I love this one. It, it's Dirk, Jake, and Caliborn, and it's uh, Ouroboros. This one's fine. 
I don't yeah. think I'm as high on it as you are. I kind of, I kind of like super it. Super understand Jake being here, I guess. So I think the reason that Jake is here in in Aura Bros, which is, uh, not Aura Bros, but like Ouroboros, but spelled different, so they have yeah. Bros. Just just for audio only listeners. I don't know how to pronounce that word. I actually. I was almost going to do a voice recording for an Eldritch Horror TTRPG, but they kept sending back so many notes about how I was pronouncing that word that I ended up not doing it. <laughs> uh, the reason that I think the name is uh, Ouroboros, is snake eating its own tail, you know, yes. that symbol, is simply a color spectrum thing where we go... Oh. Because... There isn't a lot of relation between Jake and Caliborn. No, there is. Th what do you think is on his fucking shirt? Why do you think right. he has that not, last name? Not, 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 right. Not, yeah. That's, that's part of, that's, I'm, I'm, I'm getting okay. there. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Rel relationship wise. Okay. I was I was just about to say jerk and dake. That's not right. <laughs> <laughs> jerk and dake is their sweet bro. Hell of just off. <laughs> Jake and Dirk absolutely go together. That that doesn't that doesn't need to be expired. They were a canon relationship for a while. Uh, there was also something going on between Dirk and Caliborn with the like, hey, draw me the most soft core of porn. Oh yeah, that that is a ship is the it's a huge ship, giant ship. Right. So that's and and that's that's what I've represented on the color spectrum on the name is Jake into Dirk into Caliborn. But it then circles back around into eating its own tail when Jake steals his name from Caliborn's future self. Like I mean, Jade steals her name. Yeah, yeah. But sort then, of whatever. But then Caliborn's whole shtick is then further inspired by Jake because he knows that Jake stole his future self's name, right? Yeah. Like, it, it, I, I do get what you're saying, right? They, the eating its own tail thing does come from Jake and Caliborn specifically. Yes. And bros, because Dirk's there. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, they're friends. Yeah. Not, like, healthy they're all good, friends. They're all, they're all good friends. They're all good, terrible, unhealthy friends. Just like all 16-year-olds have. Mm-hmm. How anyway. do you pronounce that word? What? How do you pronounce the word? Ouroboros? But a okay. lot of people do pronounce it Ouroboros. Yeah. I pronounced it Ouroboros for a long time until I was corrected. Yeah. It depends on how Greek you want to be. If you want to be technically correct pronouncing it like a greek would it's ouroboros but okay it's so it's like ouroboros has worked itself so thoroughly into the english language that even people who would care about pronouncing it the right way probably still say it ouroboros right mm, not that yeah. person i was doing that ttrpg voiceover for <laughs> <sighs> Anyway, I think this I think this has a lot of layers to it. it and I, I think it's I think it's clever in like a very deep way. This isn't this isn't the like smack in your face like a really good pun or really funny thing that a lot of the other higher tier things are. But I actually do want to put this in A because of like how much when like I don't know how much thought went into this name. Maybe they literally just stuck Arabros and stuck the word bros in there and called it a day. But Found I see I see so much thought and care went into this. Like, there's a lot of layers in this name that makes it very cool and makes it work, like, really well for me, whether they were there on purpose or not. I'm content with A. Yeah, I can do that. Thanks. Thanks for the consolation. <laughs> <laughs> I probably I like I liked it a lot at first and then didn't like it a lot. And now I'm like, yeah, I can see it. Uh, Aura Bros gets an A. Now for the worst one. Is it the worst one? This is this is the worst. I this is the one that makes me feel the worst. 
<laughs> okay, uh, I, it makes me feel the worst. It's not the worst one. It. Are you gonna go, Justin? Sure. I I had I I completely blanked on on his Matuna? name for a second. Yeah, it's Mat- it's Matuna and Carlos, and it's. I'm sorry, but written uh, the way Matuna would. I like it a lot. Why? And mime, be- and, and, and mime because Carlos. Why? Why do you <laughs> like it? Because <laughs> he says I'm sorry a lot for reasons he shouldn't be sorry for, and then you put an M in front of it, and it's mime sorry, and it's funny. It makes me sad. Yeah. <laughs> and and again, that probably should rank it high. But yeah. this doesn't make me sad in a good way. It makes me sad in a bad way. The oh. exact opposite of how do you remember me <laughs> makes me feel. <laughs> oh, I think it's very funny. No, this is awful. This is the bottom. <laughs> this is the bottom of the barrel when it comes to ship name humor. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. I will say I do think it I think it does very well capture these two people. It I'm I'm so I'm so conflicted because no. I absolutely see the I absolutely see the point. I this this there's no other two people that this name could belong to. Okay, but, but it, I think saying that it captures these two people is a lot. It's just it's just a thing that Matuna would say with a pun that brings Carlos into the picture. Yeah. Okay, no, you're you're right. Maybe that was too powerful of words, but <laughs> it's A tier for me. <laughs> but it's so it makes me feel so bad. I cannot in good conscience put this anywhere higher than D tier. <laughs> <laughs> and mind you, I wanna put it in F. Yeah. <laughs> I oh god. I can hear it, right? I can hear it in the like in in because whoever did like let's read Homestuck for Matuna did a great job yeah. capturing like the way that he should speak, and that probably makes it worse in my head <laughs> because he I... sounds so pathetic all of the time, very correctly, but like, uh, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Well, Dami's not going to let us do any higher than a D, so you just have to decide between D and F. I can get outvoted. That's I, true. I think... I think this belongs in C, but I don't like that it's that high. Okay. Like... Uh, if I have ma- to acquiesce to C, I have to acquiesce to C. It makes I me mean, feel... It makes me feel so gross. I know y'all but, aren't coming up to A, so I'll take whatever I can get. Absolutely not. We're, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere near A with this. <laughs> I'm it, sorry. It it makes me sad to say, but my I'm sorry ranks as high as C. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't don't do that. This. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> okay. Uh, next up is is <laughs> Kanaya and Vriska, and it's uh, croissants, or croissants, croissants. if you want to be uh, an asshole about it. I don't, ah, I don't get... But you almost made I... me drop my croissant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I don't clearly get Jax it. does. I don't get it either. <laughs> I don't get it. That's a, that's oh. a line. I don't get oh, it. Then it's, oh, then it's an F. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have no fucking idea what this is about. Is it? Okay, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Okay. This is awful. I don't want this to be the case. It's probably not, because it still doesn't make any sense. Okay. Is it their weird little M symbols? But their M. What? <laughs> It'd be a fucking Egg McMuffin or something, I don't know. <laughs> Bad. I don't, I don't get this I one. I don't get this one. Me neither. F. Croissants gets an F. Croissant. Mm, wait, is it their horns? Because it has the down tick? 
I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, that doesn't make sense. What do you mean, isn't there horns? Can you elaborate on that? Because they have for a the second? down tick. Okay, look. You gotta understand, right now, I have the blurry image in front of me a little bit, right? And at yeah. least okay. to me, all of their horns have the same little croissant like curve to them if you ignore all the extras. Well, to me, like, Brisk's all- one horn looks more like a croissant <laughs> than their both down tick horn. It's true. This one's bad. <laughs> bad, is what we're saying. All, um, almost everybody's horn looks like candy, uh, candy corn croissants, which is a horrible sentence. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you're wrong, but okay. Anyway, F, uh, moving on. Next up, we have John and Rose, Savior of the Dreamers. John nope, take Roxy. it again. <laughs> Jake, John, just <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> John Jacob Jinglehammer Smith. And <laughs> no. Yes, take. I don't fucking know. Get my hand off the boom arm. That doesn't. We sound have good. we have John and Roxy, savior of the dreamers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, this is not a ship name. It's not. This is not a ship fanfic name. No. This is a fanfic name. This is a, this is a, like, action fanfic name that'd be kind of cool, I yeah. feel like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this has absolutely nothing to do with shipping. It's a My Chemical Romance reference, is what it is. Is it? Uh, Savior of the Broken, the Dreamers, and the Damned. But... But it's also a savior of the waking world thing on John's end, but that's just John. Uh, John and Roxy are the two left over from the pre-retcon timeline. It's ass F tier. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yep. yep. Yeah. It's bad. It's bad. Uh, savior of the dreamers gets gets an F. I hate that we got this one first. <laughs> yeah, that is funny. It's, um, <laughs> this is like how I was born late enough that I actually watched the Star Wars prequels first. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> chronological order. What is yeah. your opinion on the order to watch Star Wars? In We're Star not. Wars fan? No, no, no. I'm cutting this off right the fuck now. Uh, because there's like thirty different orders that that there people are... could say. Yep. I'm not I'm yep. not letting us get into this. I'm not letting it get out into the world for people to tell you how wrong you are about Star Wars on this Homestuck video. <laughs> uh, all engagement's good engagement, my dude. We are instead talking about uh, Rufio and Curlaz in uh, PB&J 2 Electric Boogaloo. This is fine. I could give this a B. It's riding the coattails of a better one. But eh, yeah. me, I, that's that's a high. I this is definitely D tier for me. Like this is, it's just, it's just blood colors making a sandwich. Yeah, blood colors making a sandwich in a reference to uh, a previous ship. Um, yeah, that we haven't gotten to yet because that we haven't gotten to yet. And the only reason this ship has a name is because of the previous ship. It is true. This does tell me nothing about these two. Yeah. yeah. I'm fine with okay. C, though. I kind of like it. It's fun to say only because boogaloo is a fun word. Yeah. I I do love that two electric boogaloo meme. Yeah. I'll acquiesce to see. Okay. Against my better judgment, PB&J 2 Electric Boogaloo gets a C. It's going to be funny if we rate PB&J OG lower. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we, got, we got Dave and Roxy, time for a drink. Because one is time and one drinks. Take a shot every time there's an alcoholic Roxy reference. You, too, will be an alcoholic. (laughs) 
This You'll is be dead. absolutely something that these two would say to one another and then giggle. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they yeah. would. <laughs> they That's would, they true, would. though. <laughs> that does bump it up for me. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I feel like they would say it almost every night and everyone around them would hate it. Is it just how they say good night to each other? <laughs> well, time for a drink. <laughs> See ya. I feel like they would... Like, they, they might say it then, but they also say it when they go meet up with people and, like, they're looking at the menu and they're deciding what to get and they'll look at each other and go, time for a drink? And everyone will groan and then might kill them and see if it's just this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, that is to say... I'm going to give it a B for the storytelling in my head about these two saying it to each other. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll agree I'm with you. I'm so glad that I've single-handedly, uh, ascended this one bad pun name. <laughs> B-tier <Yes>. is. <laughs> Time yeah. for a drink, he gets a B. Time for a drink, they just would, went god-tier. Say, <laughs> can and say it to each other, then yeah. Uh... Okay, we got Tavros and the Summoner for one cest. Why is it one cest? I don't know. Okay, I know. And it okay. doesn't work. This is bottom okay. of the barrel F tier. The It's cool. supposed to be like a, a, a quirk thing, but Tavros doesn't do the one thing. Ru the summoner doesn't do the one thing. Rufio does the one thing. This should be summoner Rufio. Terrible. Yeah. This F is bad. Tier. Is it is it one cest because it's not the summoner and it just kind of get lumped in there when we did this document, but it's Tavros and Rufio not the ancestor but Tavros's imaginary friend. Did it say Rufio on the list? No, it said Summoner. Then it's the Summoner. Okay. You were doing a lot of stretching to try to make this I was. Better. I was. Yeah, this, this is bad. Is this is bad. This is F tier. F tier. Automatic. Yep. One cest is F. Uh, this is interesting. Dave Sprite and Tavros. Red Bull gives you wings. He's not a Red Bull. Yeah, there's no red once uh, once Dave Sprite enters the picture. Now, if this yeah. was Dave, Dave Sprite, and Tavros, then we'd be talking. Yeah, I could I see feel that. Like, I feel like I accidentally didn't change the colors on the, uh, on the text on accident. Well, I guess I'll fire you. <laughs> <laughs> Because that's definitely still Dave's red. Oops. Yeah. Uh, I can't believe you just did a John to Dave Sprite. Anyway, F tier. Anyway, I, that sucks. took that took me that took me a second. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> My joke sucked. This name sucks. F tier. Yeah. Yeah. Red Bull gives you wings as F. Uh, we have we have Kanaya and Terezi in Taste the Rainbow because. If you think about it, they are both rainbow drinkers, sort of. Yeah. Okay. You want to? Tracy's a rainbow liquor. Expecting. <laughs> Tracy's a rainbow liquor. Uh, she did not appreciate the taste of blood, but she did lick some blood. Oh like yeah. Well, she const she constantly talks about how like, car cats candy blood. And, yeah, that's like... true. Because she's a little creep. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say A tier. I do, I do really like this. Yeah. I agree, I agree. This is a, this is solid. This a. is this this is a solid A solid. tier. Both of them will taste the rainbow together. Yeah. Rose and Dave is snarkcest. I love this a lot. I forgot about this. It's again very quick, very succinct, very to the point. Yeah. Could apply to multiple pairings, but I think applies to this one best. Maybe. Who? Who else would be a good snarkcest? I mean, all of the characters have a little bit of snark in them. Yeah. Uh, so if you were just to say the word snarkcest, 
I feel like you wouldn't automatically go to Rose and Dave. You the uh, any any number of things could come to mind. I think it fits them best. Look. I would go to Rose and then figure out who went with Rose, and I could only think of Dave. Look, not <laughs> to pitch my propaganda too hard, but okay. like no, do it. But like, wouldn't Snarkcest make the most sense? to apply to the two characters who explicitly in text have a passive aggressive war with each other in Rose Mom? I just feel From- Snark isn't I don't know. I just feel like Snark has different connotations than Rose Mom. I get where you're oh. coming from though. I'm sorry, I heard something completely different. I am too Digimon brained. <laughs> I and I, de- I definitely heard Rosemon and was like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> That's amazing. Also <laughs> that, but not that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Rosemon would be Snarkcest. Uh, you're right. I feel like that's the best. I guess. I still think. I still think Rose and Dave is the best person are obsessed. Also, potentially, Rose mom, but the other mom. Rose alpha mom? Yes. And then it's just Rose, a Rose alpha mom could be snark obsessed. <laughs> mm, that's. That's really compelling, actually. I don't think that's anywhere on this list, but I like that a lot. Thank you. Yeah. I pitch my Lalonde-sest propaganda well. Yeah. Here is here is my proposal, if you will, uh, for both of these. Uh-huh. Okay. Rose Dave Snarkcest gets a B. Rose Other Rose Snarkcest gets an S. We are just really fucking with the whole format and, like, <laughs> the basis of this. <laughs> I'm down, but it does get us another step of the way closer to that that clutch 413 total. Right. Yeah. Although at the rate we're going, we're going to like way overshoot it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're going to get to 612. God, no. It's too much. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, we don't have to count it. It can still, we can still be at 411. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. The, I, this snark test is. Because it it is it is good. It's correct. It's succinct. Again, I I think this gets like an A or a B. I think it's a B. I'll 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 let it be a B. Okay. All right. Snark says gets a B. I'm I'm so careful about saying names now because I fucked up the one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Aradia and Fefri are uh, master and her maid. Second guessing every single time I say a name now. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like Princess and and or Popper did this, and we don't need any more iterations. Yeah. Yeah, and this one's not that good. <laughs> it's yeah. not. This also like just is wrong. Yeah. Like this is not the relationship that these two have. No. Also, it's just so weird. I don't know. I guess master. Like, I use master for a uh, uh, girl sometimes and fix, but it's it's yeah. weird. It's bad. It's wrong. For me, it's an F. Yeah. It's a, this F. is an F. Nefida and Feffery get uh, cuddle kits. I don't quite get it. Because cuttlefish? But what kits? Where does that... Kittens? Okay, yes. Got it. It's just... It's just... Like, here's the thing. If you can squint at this... If you squint at this ship name, just under the surface, you can see the skeletal outline of catfish. (laughs) (laughs) Which is, by the way, the much better name for this. (laughs) Yeah. This is this is clumsy as fuck. I see where they're going, but this is a D for me. Yeah. Yeah, D. Carcat and Terezi as Adora Bloodthirsty. This is just the canon. It's not really a ship name, but it's it's a team name. Yeah. Yeah. 
this is what everyone calls this ship for the most part if it's not yeah. Karezi. That sucks. I reiterate my thoughts that this ship name should apply to uh, all 12 trolls polycule. But yeah. yeah. Okay. So I don't know if I'm mixing up something that may have been from fanfiction or from like one of the weird YouTube videos. Isn't Adora Bloodthirsty the name that was pitched when trying to get Carcat to flarp? That then became the team name of the whole group? Or am I making shit up? As somebody who just recently reread uh Act Act Five, Act One, I don't think that's right. Okay. That's definitely something that either somebody else wrote or put and put in my head or I think I in canon it's a thing that Carcat came up with and then immediately regretted. Okay. That also probably makes sense. Because uh, Carcat, because is... like, okay, what happened was Terezi said that Carcat was cute and Carcat, or no, Terezi said Carcat was adorable and Carcat said more like adorable bloodthirsty. That's where it comes from. Right, yeah. Right. And then yes. he made it the memo title and immediately regretted it. Yeah, yep, okay. Okay, now that we've settled that. <laughs> what do we think of this as a ship name? I'm not that high on it. I it's a it's a I feel like it's a B because it's it's kind of iconic. It's it's iconic. I feel it definitely describes the car cat side of things more than either Terezi or the two of them combined. Uh other than bloodthirsty being that again Terezi licks blood. Yeah. But I don't Mm. I it's a, it's a it's a B for me. I'm good with B. I'll consent to B because it's like it is iconic, but eh, personally, I think it's like D. But I'll consent to B. You would Fair put enough. this below PB and J as a. <laughs> I Gummy, we're gonna fight after this. <laughs> we need to make one of those. Um, we need to turn this into one of those. Uh, uh character versus character like which do you like more and it gives you this whole list at the end yeah 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 but yeah i would in fact put this below uh pb and j2 electric boogaloo actually okay uh well you're wrong adora bloodthirsty gets a b okay i consented to this (laughs) jake and roxy as our drunken adventure this definitely is a reference to something our our something adventure feels like a book title. Yeah, now I'm curious. Let me look it up. I feel like it's gonna be hard to look up. Probably. Yeah. I feel like it's a reference to something that was relevant in like 2011. Probably. Yeah. Who knows? Or a movie, because Jake likes all movies. Every movie forever. Yeah. Oh, D tier. Uh, yeah. Roxy's drunk. Jake goes on adventures. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. D tier. It's obvious and bad. Yeah. Okay. Tavros and Aridin as Toreashnor. Toreashor. And I'm I'm tipping my hand a little bit because this is. This is a play on something Vriska calls Tavros in Torea Snore. Oh yeah, yeah. Torea Snore. Um, I, I, I do, I like this one again. I feel this is a very clever portmanteau. I agree. I like this. I like that it plays off of an already existent portmanteau that's used in the comic a few times. Well, yeah. I, I don't know if it's if it is off of that because. Tavros's screen name is Adios Toreador. Yeah. Yeah, which is why Vriska calls him Torea Snore. Yeah. I, I just I I don't feel like Snore is the middleman between Toreador and Torea Shore. I kinda do. It could be. I could definitely be wrong here, but I could see getting Torea Shore out of Toreador because uh 
Yeah. Let me put it this way. I I don't necessarily, like, I'm not claiming that that was necessarily the thought process in coming up with this, but I like that it calls it to mind. Yeah. Okay. Right? Like, it, this is a this is a death of the author sort of thing. Yeah. I just feel we don't get that many plays on chum handles for ship names. We don't. And I think that there was, like, one of the few plays on chum handles in the comic gets mentioned, and I think that just brought it. Neither here nor there, though. Yeah, doesn't doesn't have anything to do with this. I think that Terea Shore is a fantastic ship name. Yeah, it's very good. I wonder what we would think about it if more chum handle sh- plays for ship names were a thing. But yeah. I, in the in the current climate, in this economy, am inclined <laughs> to say like a B or an A. Yeah, I was going to say A or S. Yeah, then uh, let's go with A. All right. Perfect. Terea Shore... Terea Shore is an A. All right. Now we have Solux and Briska as lemons and blueberries. Uh, you you get it because he's, this, he's, ye- he's yellow and she's This blue. is a bad food one. It's this so is a bad, bad food one, yeah. Again, D at best. Yeah, D at best. I can't consent to any more. To yeah. me, it's just an F. Okay, that makes it an F. Yeah, F. <laughs> lemons and lemons and blueberries gets the F. Yeah. Now we have Briska and Gamzee as the Eight of Clubs. This is this is an A for me. I like it. <laughs> this is also this is also an A for me. I think this is very clever. It doesn't have anything to do with the relationship between them other than Briska is eight. And Gamzee uses clubs. Yeah, I I am down though because at a because there is uh, some amount of you know gambling symbolism in the story writ large. So I don't know. Yeah, yeah, a, yeah. A works. All right, like eight it. of clubs gets eight of clubs gets an A. Now we have Roxy and Calliope as Margarita. It's it's just a drink. It's just a drink, and it's it, just a drink. Is it bec- okay? Look, I don't know shit about drinks. Is is lime in margarita? Is that the is that the joke here? You, okay, I mean, here's, there's here's usually the a thing. lime garnish. Here's the thing. We're uh, spoilers for I don't know how far ahead. Um, there is another ship name that is just lime margarita. Oh. I almost like this one more because at least it has the the fucking audacity to be subtle about it. <laughs> D tier. <laughs> D D tier? <laughs> yeah. 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 I it's I don't I don't see uh, Yeah, D tier. And now we have Rose and Kanaya as Grim Snark. Grim Snark is very good. It's pretty good, and these are the flighty broads with their snarky horse shit. Yeah. Yep. I don't know because again, comparing it to the one is yeah. un- un- is yeah. is unfair. I feel like. Yeah. Because this like. I feel like I'm just saying this is good too much. I get you. It, I, I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely an A for me. Yeah, yeah I say A. It's an A, yes, absolutely. It is a close second to the one, Look, I think. We, we have, we have the, cor- the, the correct one. Oh. Fuck, after, holy shit. After, after fighting through so many iterations. We yeah. got there. Hey, hey, everyone, hey, everyone out there in the Homestuck fandom, give yourselves a round of applause. We got there. <laughs> is this is this why Tavros had to be the the peasant because they had Aradia as the popper? I Holy don't, shit. I don't know. But also, 
there are so many ship names that apply to multiple people that they give to multiple people. Yeah. We also forgot to say this earlier, but the ship is Aradia and Aridin, uh, the prince and the pauper. Do they think a, a, a peasant is above a pauper? It's considered that way in Magic the Gathering formats, believe it or not. Fair enough, you know. <laughs> Who might argue with Magic the Gathering? Okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah? Hold the fuck on. I literally googled, what is the difference between peasant and pauper? Just that. The automatic Google, like, result... Peasant is a casual constructed variant on Magic the Gathering, which bans all rare cards. <laughs> That's great. Nice. Uh, the next Magic the Gathering cube, an introduction to Popper and Peasant cubes. Popper versus Peasant. Price difference, which if I didn't know that was talking about magic would be a different <laughs> thing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's magic. That's magic. I uh, I still can't get over magic. what I sent Dami about uh the QAnon Anonymous podcast that talked about people making up like one of those um oh what are they called the 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 haunted house but it's about hell hell houses hell houses yeah combine the two um. And it was like they were trying to have a scary thing about Magic the Gathering. And they were like, Magic and the Gathering? The, the RPG Magic? Ma ma magic ga Gathering Magic. It just could not get it straight. Extremely funny. That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, I still hate this. This is, still, this is still a bad for me. This is still like a D or an F. It's not great. I'll go... I'll go D. Because I, I liked it whenever it was Princess and the Popper with a fairy and a radia. And I just okay. wonder how it would be if we saw this in a different order, you know? Yeah. Uh, Prince and the Popper gets a D. We have Roxy and Dirk as passion fruit and mango. Is food. Is, f is food is D. Is food. Is D. Is food is D. Yep, is food is D. I already had one impassioned food defense tonight. I can't muster another. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Equius and Aridin as seahorse. Yeah. Because one of them is from the sea, and one of them thinks he's a horse. I know I keep saying that, and it's still not true, but it's funny to say. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that bugs me about this one is that it's actually slightly uneven on the Aridin side because he has yeah. seahorse yeah, dad. Yeah, seahorse dad. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. To me, it's a solid B. Yeah, yeah. I can I can say B. I was gonna say I was gonna do C, but yeah, B is. No, fine. I agree. B. It's held back from A by the slight imbalance. I think. Yeah. Okay. Seahorse gets a B. Tavros and Vriska as adios, spider bitch. I, I again I do don't like, like this it. One. This is bad. This sucks. I like but... it. Because like what like the last thing she says to Tavros is adios. Um, what does she call him? Toriador? You Toriador? mean that? <laughs> His chum handle, Audio Storiador. Is that just what she calls him? His chum handle is Audio Storiador. Yeah, well, because she says that to him when she kills him, right? I don't I think she he... says anything to him when she kills yeah. him because it happens in a anything. flash. Yeah, that's right. She at one point she says adios something to Tavros. I mean, probably, because she does like to play off of his chum handle. Yeah. But at the end of the day, this is just playing off of Tavros' chum handle. And it doesn't do know. it in a compelling way, I think. 
I just think that since it is specifically the two of them and Vriska does say that at one point to him in some dramatic moment that it's more than just playing on his handle. I'm not saying it's good. I'm just saying it's more than just playing on his handle. Okay. So how would you rate it? If I could remember the part that it's from, I might rate it higher, but since I can't remember the context, I'll rate it a D. Okay. I I also D, yeah. I'm content with D. Yeah. Okay. For all the arguing we just had, we agree about <laughs> the rating. <laughs> Yeah. Because I was it's I bad. was hoping I was hoping to remember more of the context as we went on, and I feel like that would have been better. I don't Fair. Know. Yeah. I, I feel like this is just another smash together. He's audios, she's a spider bitch. Can I make it any more obvious? He was an audios, she was a spider bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whatever. It gets it gets a D. Uh, before we move on, I need to share something with you guys. Um, the the weirdest fucking Google suggestion. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't also know spelled the... audios wrong because I spell you audio did. all the time. You did, uh, <laughs> but but Justin searched Vriskia, Vriskia, Vriska audio. And uh, the suggestion was, what is A-sharp on ukulele? <laughs> the most vriska sound in the world, an A-sharp chord on ukulele. I yeah. don't, I do, don't fucking understand. <laughs> Google is bad, as it turns Google out. Google is it's bad. It's just a bad service now. <laughs> it's the fucking worst. Okay. Next up, we have Tavros and Dave for A Knight and His Page. I'm getting really tired of X and their X. I'm actually, I was about to say that too. I'm kind of sick of it. This one's, f okay, hear me out. Because I'm okay. also getting tired sense. of this, but hear me I out. Actually, yeah. This one works better than the other ones. Agreed. Yeah. And I feel it needs to be rewarded for that. But not that rewarded for that, <laughs> right? So a C. This this does work because like the relationship between Dave and Tavros in in the like world of rap is that Tavros is a page under Dave, sort of. Like I I, I feel that this does actually describe their relationship rather than just being their classes. Yeah. And it, 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 like, as opposed to the pauper shit, right? Like, it actually, you, like, every other variant of this has not had the guts to just say both of their classes. It always tries to get, like, poetic with one of them in a way that doesn't end up working. This is just their classes, yeah. and it has the bravery to be that, and it works. Yeah. Yeah. And it works on a deeper level of just being their classes. Like, I, yeah. I enjoy this. It's not great. It's still. I think it's, it's B. It's still, it's still, it's still X and their Y. Yeah, it's B. Oh, okay. Why? What were you gonna say? C. Were you gonna put this at S? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was gonna say C, but I'm I'm fine with B. Okay. Yeah, Knight and his page gets a B. Now we have Rufio and uh, Aranea as Windfang. What? Say it again. Aranea? Okay. Continue. What? what? What just happened? I say Arania. Yeah? I just Come haven't that me. pronunciation. Aranea is the, the proper mythological pronunciation for that name. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. What do we think of what do we think of Windfang? Bad because I want to say Windfang. Okay. Because it's Mind Fang with a W. <laughs> yeah, I, no. I know, I get it. <laughs> it works better visually than it does than it does auditorially. Definitely. 
Yeah. Was Rufio a breath player? Yeah. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the the um ant ancestors have the same aspect. Okay, so he was pa page of breath, right? Yeah. No. Okay. Tavros no. was page of breath. Tavros. Rufio was rogue of breath. Yeah. Rogue, um, okay. Just to explicitly spell this out for people who might just be listening. The visual thing that's happening here is the W, flip it over, it's an M, it's just Mind Fang. So by flipping the M upside down, it becomes Wind Fang. But it sucks. It sucks so bad. <laughs> it becomes a Wind Fang. It's, it's cool visually, but as soon as you start to think about it in any other way, it sucks. Yeah. yeah. Actually, let's think about it as wind fang for a second, because wind is a word. <laughs> is 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 there is there is there is there any way that, that, that is there no. any way that wind fang works? No. D. <laughs> There any, there's no level? Okay. Only I can't think of if, one either. Only if you assume that their dynamic is that Rufio really pisses RNA off. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I actually could see that because of Rufio just doesn't care about anything at all, and RNA probably cares the most about everything with her like hoarding of all of the lore of Homestuck. I could definitely I see it. So much. Yeah. She's pretty good. I do like her a lot. She is yeah. an underrated Homestuck character. She is. And it's like some of the people who do like her just treat her as Mind Fang, but not. And I'm like, no. I I nerd. would get along I would get along with Aranea in real life. She's so <laughs> I feel good. like. Uh what I do we just... think of Wind slash Wind Fang? It's bad. It needs to it's, get out of here. It needs to it needs to go away. This is an F. This is an F. Sure. Okay, now we have Rose and Dave as Sunburst. I don't get it. A sunburst is like what you can call the light symbol. Is it because yeah. they were supposed to blow up the sun? That's definitely it. That's yeah, that's probably it. It's bad. Takes too long to get there. Bad. Yeah. Is it? And they, I mean, they didn't blow it up. They made it. Yeah. They made the sun burst from nothing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I. D. 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 F. D. Maybe. Sun Sunburst gets a bad. It gets a bad. Tavros and Nepeta as Cavalry Purr. I think that's kind of cute. Oh. Yeah. I have been pronouncing the A as in like Cavalry Purr. But oh. I get it. Because Reap yeah. Reaper, Reaper is also there, and I just didn't see it. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's that's good, actually. Yeah. It is pretty good. It's a good, it's a good solid set of puns yeah yeah because it's i i i know i forget this a lot and so i'm going to assume that other people forget it a lot too that nepeta is actually really fucking ferocious like yeah, oh yeah. yes you're not a nepeta fan if you don't like her covered in blood in the middle of a bunch <laughs> of viscera yeah <laughs> right Laying down, nomming on a piece. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. And then seeing you uh, approaching and getting excited and tackle hugging you, covering you in blood and viscera. Yeah. <laughs> That's the Nepeta experience. That is. That's the ne <laughs> that is the Nepeta experience. Hey. Uh, how do we feel about the name though? Uh, Cavalry. Yeah, it's cute. I like it's it. good. It's cute. I like it. Hey. Yeah. Okay. I can do that. Cavalry Caval Reaper is an A. Jake and Dave as Mario Bros. This sucks. I hate it. That it sucks. It's bad. It's There's just because green. It, here. It's just because green and red. That's it. Yep. Yeah. 
F. F. Get it out of here. F. F. Mario Bros. gets the F. Equius and Dad Egbert as Strong Meets Man Grit. I just figured it was Dad Crocker. That's fair. I guess I didn't need to specify. Yeah. It's hard to tell. I don't get it. I don't, like... Because they're both cause, strong. Yeah, John's dad is shown to be incredibly strong. Yeah, and so is... Like, on uh, like on par with the trolls. Probably on... not Definitely not on par with Equius, but... Yeah, um, I mean, just like in... I mean, Dad Crocker is too, because he breaks out of jail. <laughs> right. I think this is like a D. Yeah. It's just two strong guys doing the yeah. um doing the full metal alchemist. Uh yeah. like yeah. 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 Everybody knows what I mean. Yep. <laughs> uh Strong Meets Mangrid is what what D. did we just say? D? D. D? Okay. Pfeffery and Mina as Pacey's sus. Pacey's? Yeah. Is that Pisces? It's it's Pisces, um, unless you are Japanese, in which case it's Piscus. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's true. I should pronounce it Piscus just to piss people off, <laughs> but uh, no. Instead, I pronounce it like Pisces to piss people off, and also because I think that naming them Pisces is a cop out. Yeah, I always like pronounce it like like Pixis or Pixis or Pixis or something. Uh, I, I did too, but that's very clumsy until the Let's Read Homestuck said Pacies, and like that I, just feels better. That is yes. where I get that from, isn't it? Yeah. I will simply never listen to it and never absorb any of the cultural osmosis. <laughs> I also feel like Pacicest flows off the tongue better than Piscicest. It's but true. But isn't as fun to say as Piscicest. <laughs> you got it i mean you okay okay how about this how about this pisces cest yeah. is an f pisces yeah, okay. cest is an a piscis cest hard s i will i will brook no argument <laughs> <laughs> I, i'm i'm okay with this <laughs> yeah Okay, so we got uh, we got an S, an A, and an F, right? <laughs> yeah, yep. all of the above. <laughs> all right. Um, so this, as it should be, gets a SAF. <laughs> oh my god. It took me a second. Yeah. Solix and Dave as the birds and the bees. I think this is like the only good use of Solix's bees. I think you're this right. Sh this should be Dave Sprite. Oh, you're right. Yeah. I was sold, and then I was not it, in yeah. such quick succession. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, Dave, Dave still does have a lot of, like, crow iconography throughout, but... What about, what about like, a C? Here's a bird. Yeah. Yeah, C. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to cut us off here because it is. Yeah. Kind of yeah. I was about to do the same thing. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, we hit 90. 90. <laughs> yep. Okay. That's, not, that's 90 out of 410. Okay. Um, what's the, let me get my calculator. Are, are you, are you serious? Yeah. It's right around. 22%? You're a fucking dickball. It is right <laughs> around 22%. <laughs> well, because like, one, 100 is 25 of 400, so I just kind of estimated from there. I don't care about <laughs> you <laughs> and your stupid math brain. God, I but, know basic math. I suck. Shut up! <laughs> You're such an ass. You're... Uh, but yeah, it was like twenty one point nine five. 
we're anyway, getting there. 20, 22% of the way through. Part one is is done. There's no way I'm going to upload all of this as one episode uh, because I yeah. uh, it's not going to happen. Yeah. For like a billion reasons. Uh, so so we'll we'll see you in part two with so many more. So many more. 90 so more. So many more. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you to Dami for composing the theme song and editing the episode. You can find more of her work at soundcloud.com slash domino thief. Shout out to our fakest fan tier supporters, Danny the Spoon Lord and Tezrak. You can become a supporter and receive early episodes and bonus content for as little as $1 a month over at ko-fi.com slash jacksyaks or simply give a one-time tip. For information on and links to my other projects, head over to jacksyaks.com. Thanks again for listening. 